mission, I'ma get it, you know I be on the way We are here in downtown Los Angeles at LA Live for MLB Creator Cup. Hey everyone, I'm Carlin Bath. Welcome to the event. This is gonna be such an incredible day. We've got a pro-am type of tournament going on today, but before we break it all down, you should know this is the first ever live in-person event for MLB The Show. It's gonna be so incredible to watch all of the games get played out today. And I'm doing this not by myself. I have two incredible hosts joining me here today. You know a little bit about gaming. We're hearing some claps already in the audience. People know who they are. They're gamers themselves. They work in the biz. It's Robert Flores and Jeff Eisenband. Fellas, downtown LA, the weather's nice. Are you guys pumped Absolutely, what? absolutely. Thank you, Carlin, I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us from wherever you're joining us. Either you're in person here at LA Live or maybe you're on YouTube or on Twitch. Jeff, I can't wait for it. As Carlin mentioned, this is history. First ever MLB The Show in-person eSports event. Yeah, I'm looking out here. This is, baseball is a game of strategy and you see players on opposite sides. We don't get to see this often enough where there's strategy being talked against each other, yeah. mano y mano. It is going to be an experience today. Yeah, it's 2v2 co-op mode, which is one of the new exciting features in MLB The Show 22. Teams of eight, and it's the pros, prolific streamers. MLB The Show fans know that these streamers are out there, they're watching the streams. Paired up with content creators of various levels of experience with the game and gaming itself. Yeah, and I think you have to figure out how to talk strategy. What does that mean? Does that mean, hey, I'm looking at this, op op the opposition, they're throwing these types of pitches, their timing is this sort of way. You've got to know your own batting attributes, you've got to know your speed attributes, and you've got to figure everything out together. Yeah, so let's break down. Here's the team here. You got Cougs paired up with Trisha is a baby. They're going to be representing the LA Angels. Ashley Sanders paired up with Austin Kleschka. They're rolling with the Chicago White Sox. Yayo and Jimmy Hill. They will be going with the Atlanta Braves. Scan is a Yankees fan. Yeah, his, yeah. his partner is Lauren Chamberlain, but he's got a role with the New York Mets. Yeah, I talked to Scan before and he said, look, we did a draft. This is how things worked out. We're going to be the Mets, and he wants to win. So he's going to yeah. he's going to change. He's going cross borough today. Yeah, and just more of the format, Jeff. These, these are live series rosters that these teams are going to be playing with. These aren't God squads in Diamond Dynasty or Battle Royale. And let's go through the bracket here. Yeah, Little Man at the bottom, I think, is the name that's going to jump out. Everyone that we talked to out here says he is probably the best skilled player. That is a name to watch. That is a team to watch. And they're playing as a team that some people might know out here, the Los Angeles Dodgers. That's right, little man, he had the first pick in the draft to which roster to go with. And even though he's a huge Angels fan, he went with the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Cougs and Trisha is a baby. They're gonna be going with the LA Angels. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting there with Trisha is a birdie and Cougs. And then Ashley Sanders on the other side playing with Austin Kleschka. These are two of those top MLB gaming streamers, but forget the streaming, forget the entertainment for a sec. Robert, we're on comms. They gotta play on the sticks right now and show their competitiveness. Oh, absolutely. Look, they've got their pl gotta play in front of a crowd. Not to mention the stakes playing for the Creators Cup trophy and also on YouTube and on Twitch. And yes, this is what they're playing for, the Creators Cup. You can't pour anything in it, no. you can't drink out of it, but you want it. No, whatever you saw with the Claret Jug yesterday, don't do that here, but this is, this Tiffany trophy, we were walking around Play Ball Park with it yesterday. People were looking at us, you could see they saw the blue, they turned the heads. What exactly is that? How can I win that? You can't. We've got eight teams here, 16 players, there are two trophies, that is good. They are going to someone, two people, later today. Yeah, and it's three inning games, so think of it kind of like a battle royale format, but as I said, using live <laughs> series rosters and in the co-op mode, you alternate every at bat, you alternate who's gonna be pitching, you alternate who's gonna be out in the field. So it's gonna be interesting to see how not only our pros handle it, 
but how those content creators handle it as well. Patience is an underrated part of baseball. Patience is an underrated part of this game. You're gonna have to see some pitches and you're also gonna have to watch your, your teammate and react to that. Yeah, you're looking at Yayo and Jimmy Hill. They're gonna be representing the Atlanta Braves, even though both of them are huge Red Sox fans. They went with the Atlanta Braves, considering, considering all the, the power in that lineup. Uh -huh. All right, once again, it's Cougs and Trisha Isabirdi going against Ashley Sanders and Austin Kleschka in a first round matchup. Yeah, this is the Angels against the White Sox. You know, Ashley, we know how diehard of a White Sox fan she is. She knows everything about this White Sox team, which by the way, just going through this lineup here. This is a lineup that plays. <laughs> that is a strong lineup in MLB The Show. All right, so you look at the Angels lineup leading off with Mike Trout. And I don't see Shohei Otani in this lineup here. Maybe they're using him as a bench bat. Yeah, we'll see three in games. Maybe you want to pick and choose if you think your batters only get up one time. Maybe you pick the spot you want Shohei in, but we'll see as we're taking a look at the White Sox and the Angels. We're getting going for the first time ever, the MLB All-Star Creators Cup in person in Los Angeles. If you're in the plaza out here, we're here one to four, come see us crown a champion. All right, the first pitch has been thrown out by the, by someone. By that guy. By that guy there in the maroon shirt. And here we go, Chicago White Sox leading off with Tim Anderson. Oh, actually, Shohei Otani is getting the start. There we go, there we go. That makes a lot of sense. And Shohei Otani starts him off with a slider that catches the outside corner. Once again, you see our competitors. Coogs and Trisha is a birdie at the top. The lower portion of your screen, Austin Fleshka is on the left. Ashley Sanders is on the right. It's 0-2 count, and Anderson goes down swinging, and we're underway. One out here at the top of the first. And you might see that as you mix in the pros and the amateurs out here. You might see a couple strikeouts off the bat. Here's Yohan Moncada quickly. He's down on the count, 0-1. Here's the 0-1 from Otani. Misses inside. It evens the count at 1-1. 2v2 co-op mode. Friendships are tested, Jeff, in co-op <laughs> mode. That ball sent deep to right field. Going back as the right fielder, he won't be able to make a play. Moncada rounding first, and he's in with a one-out double. And you can see Ashley and Austin get up. This is the experience that you're going to get here, folks. You're able, look, if you're playing online, you can't see your opposition, whether yes. they're upset, whether they're excited. You can see the excitement there. That ball in the dirt. Moncada will stay at second. Here's La Pantera, Luis Robert who has maybe the best nickname in all of baseball, the Panther. 60% of the time, he works every time. It's one and one. That ball slapped foul. Little San Diego reference. Yes, there we go. It's one and two. Here's the one-two from Otani. Just misses. Good eye there. And we can see on the other side, Coops. Trisha is a birdie locked in. Swing and a miss. So there's two down here in the first. Otani has two strikeouts. Now he's dealing with Jose Abreu. Doesn't get any easier with this White Sox lineup. No. And by the way, the real life White Sox <laughs> going into the All-Star break, feeling pretty good out winning a series against the Minnesota Twins. Abreu ahead in the count, two and one. Lazy fly ball to right field. And that will end the inning. So an extra base hit. Moncada left stranded at second and threw a half inning. No score. And, and so now, Robert, we're going to get a look at Coogs and Trisha on the other side. And Coogs, just a, a formidable member of this MLB YouTube community. I know I look for him when I try to find, you know, get my, improve my own skills yeah. at MLB The Show. Oh, absolutely. Got a ton of videos on YouTube, streaming on Twitch. Mike Trout, high fly ball. Right center field, going back as the right fielder, and it's gone. It's a leadoff homer for Mike Trout. Yes, let that replay flow. Over 100 miles per hour off the bat, 399 feet. It's leadoff thunder for Mike Trout, and it's 1-0. Quick momentum swing after we saw the double in the first inning from Kleschka and Sanders. You can see Coops get up, but Mike Trout batting first. No runners on base. That, good point. 
And as we said at the outset, these are three inning games. Obviously, you score first, Jeff. That puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. Well, you get Mike Trout up as many times as possible if you put him first in the lineup. I also just want to mention for those, Trisha is a birdie, does her own streaming in terms of cooking on Twitch. She's based in Los Angeles, and also she has a medal from the Japanese government for her cooking. I, do, I don't have one of those. No. Me. No, I, I don't have a, a medal for that either. So one down after the strikeout, that'll bring up Taylor Ward. Lance Lynn has already given up a leadoff homer to Mike Trout. One down here in the bottom of the first. Set for three innings. And th this is cool how we get the view, switching over to the view behind the pitcher. Yeah, you know, it's such a preference on what players, some players you'll see the, the catcher's view or other players will go with the pitch, pitcher's view. There's a little dribbler foul. Can I date myself by saying the kids don't know what it was like back in the day with baseball video games? <laughs> you only had one view. That's it. Here's the 2-2 from Lance Lynn. Hard shot to first, but nicely done there by Jose Abreu. And there's two down. And you can see the high five there again. The teammates working together out here in MLB The Show. That ball slapped foul. It's 0-1. Now, the other first-round matchups, they have yet to begin, so you're not missing anything. We're just focusing in on this matchup here between Trisha Izaberti and Cougs against Austin Kleschka and Ashley Sanders. Uh, the other first-round matchups will take you there as soon as they get started. Two down here at the bottom of the first. Another foul ball, and we'll do it again. It's one and two. Did oh, he go? Oh. Yes, he did. So Lance Lynn rallies, gets a couple of strikeouts in the inning, but a leadoff homer to Mike Trout. And we are 1-0 Angels after one. Here's Andrew Vaughn, the five-hole hit. Yeah, listen, three-inning game. There is absolutely no time to waste here in the top of the second. As we already get some strategy being examined. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like Austin and Ashley are going to get their bullpen going. Liam Hendricks. Yeah, just Liam Hendricks up in the top of the second. No big deal. And he's also got Kendall Graveman as a possibility as well. So double barrel action in the White Sox bullpen. Liam Hendricks will be here this weekend, a late add to the All-Star Yes, that's right. Representing the American League, which has won eight consecutive All-Star games. Here's the second inning. Shohei Otani still out there for his second inning to work. That splitter goes wide, and it's 1-0 to Andrew Vaughn. Here's the 1-0. That's in for a strike, back-to-back -back splitters from Shohei Otani. You know, Jeff, it was all fun, fun and game before, the, before things got started. You can feel were, the tenseness People in were here. glad handing, high-fiving each other, but, but look at the intensity on Austin and Ashley's face. They're into it. But they're trailing one to nothing. Well, I'll tell you this, Robert. You know, Ashley, if you've seen her streams, I don't understand how she is able to talk as fast as she can. She <laughs> answers every question in her stream. She's absolutely unbelievable at what she does. But now we're seeing the competitive side of her. Lazy fly ball to center field. Trout is there, and there's one away here at the top of the second. And you can see some of the frustration there from Ashley as well. Just You only get so many opportunities in a three-inning game. Absolutely. Here's Eloy Jimenez. Facing Shohei Yotani. Fouls that one back. It's 0-1. So much of MLB The Show about timing at the plate. Swing earlier on those inside pitches, wait back on the outside pitches. Fly ball. Right center field. The right fielder coming over from, from his shifted position. And there's two down. And you can see Coogs directing traffic for the team. Oh. Got to bring up Lurie Garcia. With two down here in the top of the second. Chops that one foul, it's 0-1. Not all these pros from Los Angeles, Robert, so making the trip out here, you do not want to exit after three That's short true. innings. That's in for a strike, it's 0-2. Here's the 0-2 from Otani. That's foul, and we'll do it again. See, not exactly hitting the pinpoint pitching there. No. But that's all right. 
There's a chopper up the middle, and it'll sneak through for a base hit. So Austin and Ashley have their second base hit of this game. Remember, in the first inning, Moncada was left stranded after he hit a one-out double. Here's the phenomenal A.J. Pollock. A little bit of a homecoming for A.J. Pollock right now. Yep, former Dodger, virtually. Now with the White Sox, looks at a Look slider out. inside. It's one and one. Coogs and Trisha is a birdie. They're playing as the LA Angels. They're leading one nothing here at the top of the second. Good AB being put together here by AJ Pollock. Yeah, we've seen a good piece of hitting from a few of these batters early on staying in the count. Here's the one two. And we'll do it again. You can see the exasperation on Austin's face. He thought he thought he could do something with that pitch. He did something with that pitch. That's down the line. Runners at first and second now after a two-out single from A.J. Pollock. And once again, Jeff, Ashley and Austin have a runner in scoring position. We've only seen two innings, one and a half innings, but this is a feisty squad, Austin Kleschka and Ashley Sanders, as we see now the Angels' bullpen getting some work. Sebi Savala stepping into the plate, but Austin and Ashley might be thinking about a left-hander pinch hitter off the bench. And you got Sh Gavin Sheets as a possibility. That might be the play here with two down in the bottom of the, excuse me, the top of the second. Yes, Sebi said, wait, 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 I'm just, I'm coming up for my first day at bat. What's... No, nope, he will not. Three innings here. And it will be the pinch hitter, the left-hander, Gavin Sheets. Another opportunity for the team of Austin Kleschka and Ashley Sanders as they are trailing one to nothing in the top of the second as we got a pause in action here. And now we're back and we're paused. You know what? Th this excites me. You've got to have some appreciation for the game. This is strategy being yeah. played right now. Three innings. Also an appearance from Joe Matt. Three innings and you've got to make those quick changes. You've got to treat it like the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. So Shohei Otani is out. Aaron Loop is in to counter the left-hander Gavin Sheets. Now do Austin and Ashley counter that counter? <laughs> and in comes. fact, they do with Josh Harrison, the right-hander. A little bit of pop in this bat. As you see Coogs giving some instruction to his partner, Trisha is a birdie. So I, I believe, if I'm reading this right, I believe this Trisha is a birdie is the one, in fact, pitching right now. So a big moment here in this game. Runners at first and second, two down. The pinch hitter, Josh Harrison, facing Aaron Liu. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, did it get him? Did it get him? Nope. It's 2-1. and one. I mean, if you're Josh Harrison, you got to lean into that. Come on, take one for the team. Here's the 2-1 from Liu. Missed again. Good eye here. That is patient. It's now three and one. Let's see Ashley locked in. Here's the three one from Luke. Swing and a miss. Bold off speed. Yeah, three got one. on the circle change. Now the runners will be in motion. Here's the payoff pitch from Luke. Ball set deep to left field. Going back is the left fielder, and he'll make the play. <laughs> wow. Ashley and Austin were cheering that one on, trying to push it. I, I thought he field. got it. I thought Josh Harrison got that. So that is a big pivotal moment. You see the, the three hits from the White Sox, no runs as we head to the bottom of the second. And now more changes have to be made here. Reese McGuire back behind the dish. All right, so in the bottom of the second, leading off for the team of Trisha Isaverti and Coogs. The left-handed hitter, Jared Walsh. First pitch swinging. A hard single through the left side. And that's a leadoff knock for Jared Walsh. Obviously, Jeff, this is a three-inning game, but already the bench is getting short for oh, Ashley really? and Austin because they had to use two pinch hitters, and now Reese McGuire had to come off of the bench to, to catch behind the plate. They're three deep already. So here's Luis Renjifo as Lance Lynn works his second inning. 
here in this three inning matchup here. So far the difference of Mike Trout leadoff homer. Left fielder will make the call, will make the catch in foul ground, and there's one away. And that's baseball, right? The White Sox putting together some good base runners for Austin and Ashley, but no runs to this point. And Austin with a little laugh as that pitch runs away inside on him. That ball in the dirt stopped by Reese McGuire, and it's 2-0. and Max Stassi has some pop. Comes up empty on a two-seam foul, on a 96 mile per hour fastball. It's two and one. Now it's three and one as Brandon Marsh is on deck. High fly ball, center field. Center fielder on the track will make the catch as Jared Walsh will have to hustle back to first, and there's two down. Yeah, that got about 388 deep in Dodger Stadium. Ball doesn't seem to be carrying at Dodger Stadium. There's a couple of fly balls I thought would go out of here, but didn't. Here's Brandon Marsh, the eight-hole hitter. As Jared Walsh is still at first base after a leadoff single. Well, is that giving us a preview of the home run derby tonight as we look out at the fans here in Los Angeles? Sure, some of you headed over tonight. All right, here's the one-two. Ball gets past McGuire. That will allow Walsh to head to second. So a runner in scoring position now for Brandon Marsh in a 2-2 count, bottom of the second. Check swing, tried to hold up, but it could not. And that retires the side. Walsh stranded at second after a leadoff single. Advanced to second on the wild pitch. And we go to the top of the third. So the team of Austin Kleschka and Ashley Sanders, Jeff, down to their final yep. three outs, and they'll have to deal with Rysel Iglesias. Yep, Ashley making that journey all the way from Illinois does not want to go home early, playing with her hometown Southsiders. Back to the top of the order, it's Tim Anderson leading off. First pitch swinging, lazy fly ball, right field. There's one away. And we think, see things go back to, I believe, Coogs on the mound with the pinpoint pitching. The only scoring, Mike Trout's leadoff homer. And that's where we stand. It's 1 0. Here's Johan Mukat. Look out. The dugout's going to have to hustle there. It's 0 2. Remember, this is the only first round matchup that is in progress right now. The other first round matchups set or have just begun, I'll check that, they have just begun. We will take you, take you there shortly, but let's finish here as the team of Austin and Ashley are down to their final at bat, and it's Luis Robert facing Rysel Iglesias. He looks at a ball low. Head the count, now 2-0. and oh. Yeah, Angel's trying to paint, the, paint a couple corners here, getting a little too cute. Mm. He was swinging 2-0, -oh, definitely a hitter's count. You're one swing away from tying this up in a three-inning game. Robert now ahead in the count three and one with Jose Abreu looming on deck. Got to let him swing away. Mm. That was a pretty good pitch Gotta to hit. Let him a lot of the away. plate, full count. Payoff pitch from Iglesias. And Robert is still alive. Got almost 4,000 viewers on Twitch. There's a little dribbler out in front of home plate. Tough play, but oh. they got him. That's it. That's all. As the team of Coops and Trisha is a birdie. Advances. Not a lot of runs, Jeff, but they'll take it. First at bat for the Angels. Mike Trout home run. That's the difference. As you see the two teams exchanging pleasantries, little GGs. You don't get, not often you get, no, a, you get the in-person GGs, right? No, you've got you to gotta be respectful. Yeah, and you've got to also, you celebrate together and some trash talk together, and in that case, some great sportsmanship at the end of the day together. All right, so the team of Cougs and Trisha Isaberti playing as the LA Angels. They are now moving on to our second round. As we said just a few moments ago, our other first round matchups just begun as uh, we're back here Jeff Robert thank you for joining us whether you're on YouTube or on Twitch as we said not a lot of scoring but definitely a good way to get it started with Mike Trout okay so here we are it looks like we're in the middle of a 
of another first-round game here. I think they're paused the action. Yep, here we go. Oh, the Atlanta Braves uh, out in front of the Houston Astros, four to nothing. The Atlanta Braves being represented by Yeo and Jimmy Hill, leading Flank Thomas and Stephen Kinez four to nothing in the top of the second. We'll jump back into that game here, uh, but. I mean, four runs, that, that is a, again, wow. in a three-inning game, four runs feels like nine. It's validating the World Series, right, folks? Is, is that, that the goal here with the, Astro, uh, with the Astros trailing the Braves? No, it's interesting because we just saw that first game, one to nothing, just the Mike Trout home run, and a really even matchup in the first game that we saw. You know, yeah. we, we might not see that the entire day, but really even matchup between Cougs and Ashley Sanders' teams. As we get a look here, our thank you to MLB Shop for providing us with the jerseys for these players today, two Red Sox jerseys. Yeah, they're, they're two. Both both Jimmy Hill and Yayo are, are huge Red Sox fans. But Yayo in the draft decided to go with the Atlanta Braves. And, and why not? I mean, but, that, that's a very good live series lineup. Well, let me tell you something. I think there's a reason the Red Sox aren't represented right now out here, right? Oh. That's, that's my New York self speaking oh, out here. That, but that, I'm, that, not, that's I'm too okay soon. with it. I'm okay with it. That's too soon. Too soon. And of course, the Red Sox got. Uh, Got hammered over the weekend uh, facing the uh, New York Yankees at Yankee Stadium. And unfortunately, Chris Sale injured in yesterday's matchup. Uh, once again, this was the first matchup that we brought you. Cougs and Trisha Isaberti. That's that team. They were playing as the LA Angels taking on Ashley Sanders and Austin Kleschka and Mike Trout in the bottom of the first, providing all the offense in this one. Austin and Ashley had chances in those first couple of innings, but couldn't cash in. Three hits in those first two innings. Really good piece of, uh, you know, playing some small ball, but they didn't have the power of that one Mike Trout home run. Yeah, and here was Shohei Otani getting the start for Cougs and, and Trisha. Got, <laughs> got hit a little bit. We saw them hitting the ball hard, like I said, Robert. Not necessarily for power, but a lot of hard line drives from this White Sox squad. In two of the three innings, as A.J. Pollock then followed that up with a single down the line. In two of the three innings, Ashley and Austin had a runner in scoring position, yep. but unable to cash in. Yeah, and they, they maybe could have brought Mancata to third on that first inning double. Played a little too conservatively, perhaps, as we see the fly ball that ended the inning there. Oh! For a second, Ashley and Austin thought it was yeah, gone. That Ashley and Austin hit a couple of fly balls that they thought we're going to, to to exit the yard, but unfortunately they came up just shy here. And here was the final at bat. Payoff pitch from Rysel Iglesias, a little dribbler in front of the plate. Max Stassi throwing to first, and Luis Robert is thrown out. Well, that was the last win for Joe Madden as an <laughs> angel skipper. Joe Madden survives to the next That's round right. here with Cougs and Trisha as a birdie. All right, so Cougs and Trisha as a birdie, they advance to the second round. They await the winner of Yeo and Jimmy Hill versus Flank Thomas and Steven Kinez. And as we saw a little brief a few moments ago, uh, Yeo and Jimmy Hill were out to a 4 0 lead, so a big mountain to climb uh, for the team of Flank Thomas and Steven Kinez. As you take a look at our set location here in downtown Los Angeles, LA Live. Just yesterday, Jeff, this set was used. Uh, as the Major League Baseball draft set. Yeah, a couple of former, So some good vibes. Yeah, a couple of former MLB players with their sons chosen first and second overall. Yep. Not us. No, no, you, we, are, we are both still uh, free agents. I want to thank you for joining us from wherever you're joining us from, whether it's on YouTube. I've got the Twitch stream pulled up. We've got almost 4,000 people uh, in the stream watching us on Twitch, so we appreciate you uh, checking us out. And I'm sure you saw all the new All-Star content that's dropping. Uh, for MLB The Show 22, as uh, their scan and his uh, his his partner Lauren Chamberlain getting ready to to get underway. And this is the matchup here: Yayo and James Hill against Flank Thomas and Stephen Kinez. Both Flank Thomas and Stephen Kinez, pretty good baseball players, yeah. real life baseball players in their own right. Yeah, Stephen Kinez still plays in college right now. Great YouTuber as well, documenting that experience, the grind of playing college baseball. And then Flank Thomas played in the minor leagues for multiple organizations, the A's, Rockies, and the Red Sox, and also his father, pretty talented as well. Yeah, the great Jesse Barfield. The 1986 All-Star. Yes, the 1986 All-Star. 
uh, game, which was held in Houston. I believe uh, I believe the Barfields hailed uh, from Houston. Oh, take a look at those kicks. I mean, kicks. I mean business. Huh? I mean business. You feeling Three run down the first, expect another. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, Come on, I, people now. aren't going to get to see us really bringing some fire right here behind the desk, Robert. Oh, but. yeah, both of us with the, uh, with the Jays. I love it. All right, here's the lineup. Ronald Acuna Jr., Matt Olson, Austin Riley, and the cleanup hitter, William Contreras. Those are the top four for the Atlanta Braves. Some really good lineups for both of these two teams. A lot of depth and a lot of length in these lineups here as you uh, take a look at the Scenics from Dodger Stadium. All games being played at Dodger Stadium, which makes sense. It's the site of the 2022 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. And of course, tonight's Home Run Derby as Pete Alonso tries to win a third consecutive Home Run Derby championship. And here we go. All right, so Ronald Acuna Jr. leading things off here in this first round matchup. Justin Verlander getting the start for the Houston Astros, being represented by Flank Thomas and Steven Canez. And here's the pitch from Verlander. This is wide, it's 1-0. and And so, Robert, we're being told right now there was a little bit of a pause in this game, had to reset. So 4 nothing was the score that Atlanta was leading. We're going to play two innings okay. here. Remember that 4 nothing score. That's the advantage that the Braves team of Yeo and Jimmy Hill has right now. All right, so there you go. You've heard the, you've heard the parameters. You've heard the conditions here. We're not starting 0-0. It's 4 nothing. so just keep that in your mind as a very late swing timing with the PCI. He had the PCI yep. all over it. Swing and a miss from Acuna. And Verlander has one out here in this second inning. Justin Verlander still doing it virtually, still doing it in real in life. In real life, an unbelievable first part of 2022 for real life Justin Verlander. Will not pitch in tomorrow's All-Star game. He pitched on Saturday, but uh, he will be here. As you take a look, right-hand corner of your screen, Jimmy Hill and Yeo representing the Atlanta Braves. Steven Kinez and Flank Thomas, they're playing with the Houston Astros. And remember, as Jeff mentioned, it is 4-0. This game was paused. We had to pick it up from the very beginning, but the Braves are leading 4-0. Here's a grounder to short. As Alex Bre Bregman in his shifted position, the third baseman making the play in the shortstop position, and there's two away. Here's Austin Riley. Tell you what, Steve, Steven and, and Flank really buying into looking like ball players. That's that. right. No, They've got black. the eye black. Steven's got the hair flowing out his hat. Oh, he's got show flow for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. But they've got a big hill to climb because they're trailing 4 nothing. I think it's also, Robert, the fitted hats. That yeah, they, shows they, you are a ball player. Hey, the organizers here outfitted our competitors with some sweet gear. Their own customized jerseys, the hats, as you mentioned, really looking good. All right, meantime, it's 3-0. Justin Verlander, and it's a four-pitch walk from Verlander to Austin Riley. So a two-out walk, and now William Contreras will step to the plate. I wonder if that was an intentional or unintentional intentional walk, or however you want to term it, because they were very careful with Austin Riley. Another late add to the All-Star game, Austin Riley, but a player who has been among the most dangerous in baseball over these last two seasons. Chopper up the middle. And now you've got runners at first and second with two out. And the runner goes to third. So runners at the corners. Good base running there by virtual Austin Riley. And now here comes postseason hero from last year, Eddie Rosario. Listen, you only have three innings that you're playing out here. You have to take advantage of that. Take it in the extra base. Every little piece of momentum you can get. Verlander having problems finding the strike zone here with two down. That's something we haven't heard a lot over the years. No. Nope. Here's the 2-0. Rosario lifts one deep to left field. Going back is Brantley, and he will make the catch at the wall, and that retires the side. But remember, the Braves leading 4 to nothing in this first-round matchup here between Flank Thomas and Steven Kinez. They're playing as the Astros, taking on Yeo and Jimmy Hill. And now we get a look at this Astros squad that, like you said, is going to need to hustle. You know, there is not a lot of time to waste. Yeah, Flank Thomas and Steven Kinez, they, they need traffic on the base pass in a big way, and it starts with Jose Altuve. Broken bat. This might be it. Nope. 
I was going to say it could be trouble, but Acuna is there to track it down, and there's one away. Too strong from Jose. You know, you do get the reset, the benefit of from the Astros side. You start from the top of the lineup again, so you get these big bats in your second inning. Here's the rookie shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Lazy fly ball, right field, another chance for Acuna. And he squeezes it, and quickly there's two down. Now remember, this is not, despite what the score bug indicates, this is not the first inning, this is the... This is the second This is the second inning. As our math is challenged a bit. With, with the Braves leading four to nothing, here's Alex Brickman. And just junk being tossed by Charlie Morton. And Bregman gets jammed in shot side. Another jam shot. Lazy fly ball. Center fielder will make the play. And that retires the side. This is also our second matchup, our second quarterfinal right now. There'll be four quarterfinals, two semis, one final, one champion. Shout out to everyone out here watching at LA Live. All you walking around here, MLB Play Ball Park. Step on over and watch some MLB The Show. Here's Dansby Swanson. The six-hole hitter. As the Braves looking to add to their lead right now. Remember, this is the third inning, not the second. That one sent back foul. It's 0-2. And, uh, and this just speaking to the depth of the Atlanta Braves lineup that Dansby Swanson is in the sixth spot. Yeah, excellent point. Yeah, a lot of depth in that Braves lineup. As we said, Jimmy and Yayo, they are diehard Red Sox <laughs> fans. But Yayo, who was the one in charge of selecting the team, he said, I got to go with the Braves. I love the lineup. He saw the trophy. He said, you know what? I got to do what I got to do. It's a leadoff knock for Dansby Swanson as the Braves are trying to add to their lead. Remember, we're playing three innings here. And the team of, of Yayo and Jimmy Hill motioning to their opponents, hey, you might want to get someone warm in the pen because Justin Verlander is getting hit a little bit. Robert, I just want to say this is such an awesome step for MLB The Show, the community, the competitiveness that oh, we're absolutely. going to see as, as this, you know, options will present themselves to play more in person. This is the first ever in-person tournament of its kind that we're seeing in MLB The Show, but it's really set in the table, the pace for what we might see over the years. Yeah, we just had the recently completed Summer Circuit Finals. Myself and Paul Sporer called that. Some of the best gamers and players of MLB The Show competing head-to-head. -head. And as you said, as Robinson Cano draws a walk, and now you've got runners at first and second with no one out. And stepping to the plate is Marcelo Zuna. Swing and miss at a changeup. Now, I, I, as you said, this is just the next step of really limitless possibilities for where this franchise gaming, where this particular gaming title can go uh, in the eSports space. As Ozuna is down to the count, 0-2. Oh, Verlander backs him up with a slider inside. It's 1-2. and two. <laughs> Or lost control, but we're not, we're not, we're not <laughs> sure. Here's a chopper up the middle. Fielded by the shortstop. Flip it for one, fire it for two. And that's a big double play there. Runner does go to third. And that's really the first sign of life we've seen from this team of Steven Kinez and Flank Thomas. Here's Michael Harris, the second. So once again, you take a look at our teams, Jimmy Hill and Yayo in that upper box in the right-hand portion of your screen. Steven Kinez, he's pictured on the left in that box. Flank Thomas to his left. He's in the right-hand corner of that particular box. They're trailing the team of Kinez and Thomas playing as the Astros trailing four to nothing as we get a nice breeze blowing through LA Live here. And this is just critical here with the runner on third. Keep yourself at the, just the four-run mark. Yeah, I, I mean, you, it is. This is a critical, critical moment here. You, if you're Flank Thomas and Stephen Kinez, you cannot fall further behind because you're only down to your final three offensive outs. As Michael Harris sends that one back. Real life, Michael Harris has been a difference maker for the Atlanta Braves ever since he got got called up from the minors. I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but he has really, that team has, has done excellent since he got called up. And it looks like this is going to end the inning, and it does. All right, so final three outs here for the team of Kinez and Flank Thomas. They've got a big mountain to climb. They're trailing four to nothing. Yeah, hey, Steven and Flank, let's get up, guys, all right? What do you say? They're trying to get hype. Trying to get 
And it's going to start with Kyle Tucker. As he swings at a cutter and fouls it off. Real life Kyle Tucker making his first all-star appearance in tomorrow's game. Sends one deep Routine. to right field. Routine. Playable for the right fielder, Acuna. And there's one down. And I'm interested to see as we jumped in with this lineup. Steven said to me before, he said, I don't, want, I don't have our best player, Jordan Alvarez, playing as the Astros. That's right, Jordan Alvarez is on the injured list. I said, you guys picked the teams. Yeah. yeah. That's your fault, man. Here's Yuli Gurriel. Sends one the opposite way, past the diving second baseman. And right. Kanez and Flank Thomas showing some life here in the bottom of the third. Remember, we had a pause and we had to pick it up from the beginning. So despite what your score bug says, this is the bottom of the third. Yeah. And the team of Kanez and Thomas, they're trailing four to nothing. There's, this could be two. This could end again. Flip it for one. Fire it for two. That's it. Jimmy Hill and Yayo, they're on to the second round thanks to a 4 0 win. As they defeat the team of Blake Thomas and Steven Kinez. And that's sending a message, Robert. You know, we just saw a really close game, 1 0 to start. Now a 4 0 game. And it could have been more if the Astros didn't get that double play in the yeah, top. That's of the a third. great point. Definitely a, uh, a lot of traffic on the base pass. Let's throw it over to Carlin for some more. Thank you so much, Robert. We got Jimmy Hill, we got Yayo, fellas. A frozen screen, a score. We had to hear from the boys back here. How'd it feel, though, getting the win here today? Nobody said it was going to be easy. No, you know, we had some hiccups along the way, but for nothing, very proud of the performance. We got a great team. Got a great team. You got a great team, indeed. What do you think of your partner here? How'd it go out there today? I mean, that was all him. He was the one that hit the three round bomb. I didn't do anything. He picked me up, and that's what teammates are, you know? We're good. You guys may, do make a great duo here. Hey, let's talk about real quick the fact that this is the first ever live in-person esports event for MLB The Show. What do you feel when you hear that being said? Making history, baby. Making history. We're coming for that trophy, too. Oh, you're coming for that Tiffany trophy? I need it. I need it. Hey, what are the words to the upcoming competition, then? You sound pretty confident. You don't have your Crocs in sport mode. You're not ready. He is serious. And from you, before we toss it back, what do you got to say? Now we're ready. We're going to sit back, enjoy the show, and come back for the second round. You're so chill. Hey, congrats, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Robert, it's back right. to you. Thank you, Carlin. Appreciate it. Yeah, it, it's interesting. Like Yayo said, hey, Yayo's the pro, and Yayo's a very good player. But it was his content creator partner, Jimmy, that look, uh, comes up with a big blow. Look, confidence is wearing Crocs in the middle of LA Live, playing in the first ever in-person MLB The Show tournament, and looking out at the crowd and having some words for the competition. Yeah, and uh, once again, let's roll through. Because we picked this game up a little late, and there was a pause, so we, they had to reset. Uh, but it was the Atlanta Braves that got things started. Austin Riley, the infield hit. And then a sacrifice fly to make it 1-0. And as Yeo mentioned, this was the big blow. Boy, he moved that PCI inside, kept the hands in. Yeah, it's what I mentioned to the players, trying to get better at no, this game. Go, 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 go. Let's get their sound effects in there for a sec. <laughs> you got to swing earlier at the inside pitches. You got to wait back on the outside pitches. That's as simply put to be good at this game. Absolutely. And then they added on some more. Although this is the game ender right here. They actually switched jerseys. They changed jerseys in the middle of it as Alenvis Diaz grounded out and grounded into the double play to end it. So now our, we have our first second round matchup set. Coogs and his partner, Trisha Isabertie, they're playing as the LA Angels, taking on Yeo and Jimmy Hill, playing as the Atlanta Braves. Coogs and Trisha only were able to score yeah. one run in their first round game. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see if they move Shohei Otani around. We saw him pitch not that last game. Mike Trout, you obviously have in that Angels lineup, but you're playing against an incredibly deep Atlanta Braves roster. All right, so that second round matchup is set. We obviously still have some first round matchups to get ready to, uh, to, to show you rather, and we still got some business to attend to in that first round matchup. Jeff, Robert, thank you for joining us from wherever you're joining us from, whether it's on YouTube. I checked on Twitch. We are at almost 4,000 people here in the stream, so we thank you very much for joining us. And for those of you here in person at beautiful LA Live in downtown Los Angeles, couldn't have asked, couldn't have asked for a better afternoon in advance, of course, 
tonight's home run derby over at the, at the stadium and the All-Star game itself. Yeah, and we've had a chance to go around all sorts of places here in the Los Angeles area. How about the MLB Creators House that we're going to take a look at right now? Yo, we're here. My name is Gabe. It's All-Star Weekend. We're at the Creators House for the Creators Cup. Let's get to it. What's up, my man? What's up, man? Let's see what's happening. We got a lot of festivities going on. We got a nice pool. Let's go check out the pool. See how it's feeling. Woo. It's a little cold, not gonna lie. I don't know if we're gonna begin in the pool. Oh, it looks like they got some orange juice. Oh yeah, that tastes good. We got the DJ up there. What's up, DJ? So within this sliding door, we got all the creators. We're practicing for the cup tomorrow. What's up, Steven? What's up, Jax? So this guy right here is someone we all got to be aware of. He hits bombs. I don't care if we win or lose. We just want to hit some bombs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So you've seen the house. You've seen the pool. You've seen the vibes. Looks like I got to get locked in and switch this for this. I know! Yeah! I would say people underestimate me when it comes to playing games. It's kind of like a hidden talent of mine. So I'm ready to show them what I can do and uh, shut people like him up. Watch out. <laughs> My biggest rival, Shelfie. I mean, I, I look up to that guy in his content. So if we can sneak out a dub against him, dream come true. You just got flanked by the boss. <laughs> Hey, that looked pretty cool. Yeah, How oh, about yeah. that house there, huh? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're slumming it back here on the desk. We got to get back out there with them. Uh, great trash talk. You know, I think that's a part of modern esports, modern gaming. I know this is a fun competition, but Flank Thomas throwing some haymakers there. Won't get the chance to play against Shelfie, but yeah, that's thoughts. right. Yeah, uh, Shelfie's uh, first round matchup uh, is about to get underway. So we are, I would say we're about halfway through the first round. We have one second round matchup already set as Coogs and Trisha. They are on to the second round where they'll be matched up with Yayo and Jimmy Hill. All right, you're about to check out Scan and softball legend Lauren Chamberlain, the aforementioned Shelfie, his partner, baseballologist. Yeah, I'm excited to see Scan and Shelfie go mano a mano, two of the elite content creators in this community. Two, two, you know, for a lot of the fans out there, guys, you've watched play, yeah. you've watched entertain you. Now you'll see from a competitive standpoint, we mentioned it off the top. This is, this is gameplay by Scan, playing as the Mets, a diehard Yankee, fan sacrificing all sorts of fandom all sorts of religion in new york city yeah. to play as the team that he thinks was the best team to pick in his spot in the draft and shelfie and baseballologist they're going to be playing as the philadelphia phillies as scan and lauren chamberlain playing as the new york mets they're leading off or batting here in the top of the first remember three inning game so a battle royale type format here but playing with live series rosters no god squads this isn't Diamond Dynasty. This is 2v2 co-op mode. This is the MLB All-Star Creators Cup here at LA Live. First ever e first ever in-person esports event for MLB The Show. As it's a one and one count, Kyle Gibson getting the start facing Starling Marte. Marte slaps that one foul and it's one and two. A true NL East I-95 matchup we've got here in Los Angeles today. Right hand portion of your screen. In the top box, it's Lauren Chamberlain and Scan. Bottom box, baseballologist and Shelfie. Playing as the Philadelphia Phillies. Marte grounds one to first. Hoskins will step on the bag and quickly there's one down. It already feels tense. You know, this game just started. There was some trash talk exchanged before the matchup and now you're seeing strategy. You're seeing uh, a little bit quieter yeah. uh, of an atmosphere. And it looks like they're gonna be changing maybe the fielding, some of their fielding settings. Uh, I, you know, people, when I'm playing, what kind of pitching mode do you yeah. use? What kind of hitting view do you use? And I really tell, it, I really think it's personal preference a lot of times. For sure. You know? Here's Brandon Nimmo. Tried to hold up. He'll check across the third. Oh, blue. I thought he went. I know personally I'd love to master pinpoint pitching, but, man, it is a challenge. But if you get it right, it really is. It feels great when you get it right. And Nimmo feels great about a one-out base hit up the middle. And Scan and Lauren Chamberlain 
Have a base runner here in the top of the first. That looked like it was Lauren Chamberlain that got the hit there. Yeah, and Lauren has had herself a week already playing in the celebrity softball game. The commissioner of the women's professional fast pitch. A lot of great stuff coming up for Lauren. That ball in the dirt blocked by JT Riomuto and no advancement from Brandon Nimmo. So Scan now batting with Pete Alonzo. Fouls that one back. Real life Pete Alonzo trying to win his third consecutive home run derby title tonight. Yeah, got to rest up. Swing and a miss, got him. So a big out number two for Kyle Gibson. And that's the guy you got to get out, Pete Alonzo. Are you surprised that we're seeing as Francisco Lindor lazy fly ball left center field and that will retire the side. Are you surprised that we didn't see maybe Nola or Wheeler getting the start for the Philadelphia yeah, yeah, I've been I've been kind of examining who these players choose as that starting pitcher. That was a, a little bit surprising to me, but I think when it comes to video games, it's not always about who has the best attributes as much as whose pitches do you like to throw? What kind of players right. do you like to play with? Here's Kyle Schwarber leading off against Max Scherzer. Schwarber swings and misses, and he's down in the count 0-1. Thunder at the top of the order for baseballologist and Shelfie. By the way, this was the right pick for uh, pitching for yeah, Max Scherzer, <laughs> definitely the right pick. Chops that one foul. It's 0-2. I can feel Max Scherzer looking into my soul standing back here. Swing and a miss in the dirt. Throw over to first, got him. And that's just dirty. That's what you can do with some of the pitchers, like Max Scherzer throwing that off speed in the dirt, making it look too easy. Now Max Scherzer dealing with the two-hole hitter, Alec Bohm. Just underway here in this first round matchup here between Lauren Chamberlain and Scan. That team facing baseballologist and Shelfie. Hard hit ball to right field. That's gonna fall uh -oh, in, uh oh! Uh -oh. An error out there as far as gameplay is concerned by the right fielder. And Bohm is going to advance to second base. In fact, he's going for three and he's in with a triple. Yeah. So maybe an error on the sticks. Yeah, the official score won't give it an error, but yeah. And you know what? Who among us, right? Hasn't <laughs> oh. hasn't done that a time or two. Oh, we have all done it. Maybe we haven't done it in front of thousands of people in Absolutely. the Twitch and YouTube sphere and in front of people live at LA Live in person out here, but we've done it. All right, so now Reese Hoskins steps to the plate. Runner at third and less than two outs. I'm almost certain this is Shelfie batting for, for his team here. Good, good nod from baseball. All right, so a big opportunity in this big moment in this game. Remember, three innings. High fly ball. Deep center field. Going back as the center fielder. This will be deep enough to score the run. And it does. Excellent A-B there by Shelfie. That's good baseball. That's good baseball. Get that in the air. And you wonder if there was a power okay, swing. Okay, Specifically, just get this out in the outfield. Get that one run. We've already seen a one nothing win today in these three inning games. Now, D.D. Gregorius steps to the plate. Facing Max Scherzer. Scherzer. Base is empty. Two down. That ball misses high. It's one and one. You got to settle yourself in if you're Scan and Lauren. It's a long three innings. Yeah, and I think Scan was trying, you know, we showed that shot earlier. That's kind of the message he was trying to impart to, to Lauren is just, hey, we, we, let's get out of this inning and let's try to get this run back. One and two count to Gregorius. That ball sent to right field. Going back is the right fielder. Still going back. And he makes the catch just a few feet in front of the fence, and that retires the side. A loud third out, but not before Shelfie and baseballologists get a run in the top, in the bottom of the first, and that's where we stand now. One nothing after one. And that's that's when you try to address after a play like that. Could have been baseball's a game of inches. Yeah, that was a, a couple more. Inches what hitting view do you use? I'm I'm a big strike zone two guy. I just I just use with the with I've been whatever the default was. When okay. I got the game at first. You know what? That's I'm gonna started, I'm gonna blow your mind. Yes. I'm also I'm also a crab method guy okay. on the sticks. You familiar with the yes, crab method? Yes, yes. Okay. Now a lot of you on Twitch, you're going crab method. What do you, what is that? That's where you take your index finger and your thumb, and you that you control that left stick with those two fingers there. And is that a competitive mindset that you just you just do it to entertain some of the fans on your stick? No. Oh, well. I just, all right, so it appears we got a pause in the action there. 
Uh, I, I just do it because I feel because I feel like it gives you a little bit more control, especially higher velocities. And, and at the time, I was just really struggling with hitting. So I was like, all right, I'll give this a try. Someone in my chat, <laughs> so in my stream, someone in my chat said, have you tried the crab method? And I said, no, what is it? They explained it, it's been okay. Next thing you know, it, it's being tested. We're gonna see Little Man play later today, who, you know, is, is someone that people have labeled perhaps the number one player in the yeah. field. He's got his own methods when playing that we're gonna see later on. So it doesn't matter how you play the game. If you hit the ball, Hit it over the fence, especially. It works, Robert. That's right. And by the way, is there any, is there a better sound in video games than mm. the perfect, perfect? Mm. I mean that that just sounds so sweet through your headsets. I mean, I, we're listening to some of the crack of the bat here. That yeah. I just I'm going to hear in my sleep tonight. The right. amount of times that we've heard it in these headsets, but I'm excited to continue listening to it as we're looking, Robert, at the first ever. For those just joining us, the first ever MLB the Show in person tournament. We're at LA Live. We've got fans here filing in for MLB All Star Weekend, and I think it's it, it, it's beautiful to see the fans stopping by. I had a chance yesterday to interview some of the fans that some of the young fans yeah. that use MLB the Show just almost as an example, as a compliment to them learning about the game, how to play well, the game, how to play the game well. And, and, and not only do they learn about today's players, but they learn about yes. players for, who, who, you know, from previous generations, players that played when they weren't even alive. Raleigh Fingers, uh, J.R. Richard is in this year's game, I believe, for the first time. Hannes Wagner, one of the all-time greats who played early in the 20th century. So. Uh, it, it is a great learning tool if you want to learn about the history of the game. All right, so we are going to join this game here. This is Little Man and Trevor Fonstrom against JX Gaming and Gabriel Smith. Now, Little Man and his uh, partner, they are the playing as the Los Angeles Dodgers. Little Man had the first pick in this, in this draft, yep. and he decided to go with the Dodgers. JX Gaming and his partner, they're going to be playing as the New York Yankees. All right, so... We're gonna keep an eye on that other matchup that was uh, had a pause, okay? But let's jump into this one here, as this one's about to get underway. There's a good look at Aaron Judge. Yeah, look out for this man. Would have liked to have seen Aaron Judge in this year's home run derby, but I understand he's got other other commitments. The Yankees are focused on uh, on winning a championship this year, folks. Absolutely, winning the series over the weekend against the Boston Red Sox and. DJ LeMahieu looks like he's going to get started against Clayton Kershaw. Hmm. By the way, will we see real Clayton Kershaw getting the start tomorrow for the National League in his home ballpark? I feel like we're going to get the, the updates as we're here probably. There's going to be some, so everyone check your, your notifications and see what comes down. You know, this is, you, you brought up the history of the game that we learned through MLB The Show. I know there's some great Jackie Robinson cards jumping into the MLB The Show scene this weekend. And this is just a historic matchup right here. New York against Los Angeles, you could argue New York against Brooklyn, Dodgers, Yankees, doesn't get more historic than this. And DJ LeMahieu lifts one to center field. I thought Cody Bellinger <laughs> got turned around a little bit. He did, he did. But he was able to rally and make the catch and there's one down here. That'll bring up big, bad Aaron Judge. By the way, the Aaron Judge Live Series card, obviously there's a lot of high diamonds that have been released. Uh, the new All-Star content, which is dropping. The Live Series Aaron Judge, and that's still an excellent, excellent card. It's, it's, got it's got sustainability even this late into the game. It's no Mike Napoli, but you know. Yeah, there we go. Mike Napoli, part of the new content. That card is out and available. Is that one of the Battle Royale rewards? <laughs> because if it is, I'm not. I'm just saying, I'm not winning it. I'm probably yeah. going to have to buy it. I'm not good enough to go on a 12-0 run. As you take a look at our competitors here, Trevor Fonstrom and Little Man going against Gabe Smith, JX Gaming. As Aaron Judge goes down swinging, and quickly there's two down. Little Man with a nice smirk after that strike. Yeah, Gabe Smith providing us, we just saw some awesome content that he did over at the Creator's House. Yep. Trevor Fonstrom is also a, a prolific content creator, has over 200,000 followers on TikTok. He's a former baseball player, he's an actor, does a little bit of everything. Here's Anthony Rizzo down to the count 0-2. Oh, oh, is that a Dottie Pippen there? Shout out to my man, Klee Gaming. Oh, we got a, a catch being held here on the stage next to us. 
Rizzo lifts one to left field. This should be no problem for the left fielder. And it indeed ends the inning. No score, no hits, no runs after a half inning. Here come the Dodgers coming to bat. Here's Boogie Betts. Yeah, Jimmy Hill, community manager for Aria Gloves, putting on a little show out here on our stage. He's playing catch with his, uh, with his partner, Yayo. They advance thanks to a 4-0 win in their first round matchup. We might have to talk to him about some leather, Will Flo. I tell you what, those gloves, those are, those are some. I don't want the Crocs, I want the glove. I really, me too. Here's Mookie Betts. Oh, he had kind of a matrix moment there by the shortstop. I knew Isaiah Kiner Falefa had it like that, but I didn't know he had it like that. He got a, some Derek Jeter jumped into him for a quick second there. Here's Freddie Freeman batting with one down here at the bottom of the first, facing Garrett Cole, Bay Bay. Ooh. Starts him off with a circle change that catches the bottom of the zone. It's 0-1. Yeah, and Garrett Cole not going to pitch in the All-Star game. A little too busy mowing down the Red Sox this weekend. Pitched uh, yesterday as part of a big Yankee win over the Red Sox. Count even at 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss. Another strike. Another circle change. World Series champion Freddie Freeman at the dish. That's right. Now a member of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Those World Series rings, not quite our Tiffany trophies out here for the winners. As Freeman fouls that one back and will do it again. Another 2-2 two -two from Garrett Cole. Got him. Oh, oh, I love that four seam. I like that. That was a really nice pitch sequence there. Couple of circle changes down in the zone and then raised his sights with some heat at the top of the zone. You can see the little man right now locked in with Trey Turner. Yep. So I believe this is Little Man batting right now with Trey Turner as he and his partner representing the Los Angeles Dodgers or playing as the Los Angeles Dodgers. If you've been looking at Little Man's content, he has been all around the scene here in Los Angeles. I think he's over 200 something thousand followers on YouTube or subscribers on YouTube. Incredible. I, I told him, I hope you've had a second to focus on this tournament. Swing and a miss, got him. Good inning there by Garrett Cole. And no score after one. Here's Giancarlo Stanton. Remember, real life Giancarlo Stanton hit a ball out of Dodger Stadium. Not over the fence, but literally out of the stadium. There could be more of that coming this weekend. As you see double barrel action in the Dodgers bullpen for Little Man and Trevor, a lefty and a righty. And JX Gaming, who we're looking at right now playing as the Yankees, Robert, I know you know that he's just not just a streamer, but a skilled player as well. Yeah, uh, JX Gaming, I actually, I, I hosted a tournament on my Facebook page, and, you know, it was a modest tournament, but he ended up <laughs> no, winning. No, don't, don't be humble about it. I mean, it's a 16-player event, and he ended up winning, so he is a very, very good player, excellent streamer as well. Streams primarily in Spanish, but also will mix in some English there. As Giancarlo Stanton down to the count, 0 and 2. Bruce Dark Gratterall is uh, the relief pitcher, so that's it for Clayton Kershaw. Gratterall, boy, how about the opposite ends of the spectrum as far as velocity goes, right? Well, Kershaw and then Gratterall. I was going to say, you've got a three inning game. You can continue to throw your opponent off by switching inning to inning. That's true, good point. And Gratterall gets a strikeout there of Giancarlo Stanton, and there's one away. Here's the bringer of rain, Josh Donaldson. No score, top of the second. As you take a look at the team of Little Man and Trevor Faunstrom, they're playing as the Los Angeles Dodgers. Donaldson sends one to center field, but Bellinger tracks it down. And quickly, there's two down. Adjusting to the timing that you mentioned with the pitching change. The Yankees hitting the ball hard right now with Gabe Smith and JX Gaming. Nothing to show for it. Here's the switch hitting outfielder Aaron Hicks. They tried to hold up but could not. It's 0-1. I was interested to see how they would play with this Yankees lineup that's so deep. You know, how do you decide? Do you play Glaber Torres? Yeah. Do you play Matt Carpenter? Man. I, I, <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I don't know about his lives. I haven't played with a Matt Carpenter live series card a lot as that ball is slapped the other way and it is just foul. 
almost beat the shift. But the Matt Carpenter prime card that's in this year's game, unbelievable. It's like a 92, 93 diamond, but plays maybe, much maybe higher. that's what he's playing with right now. Maybe. All right, that ends the inning. Still no score, still no hits through an inning and a half in this game between the Yankees and the Dodgers. Yeah, this is a really competitive game that we're watching right now. You know, uh, we've seen players change up the pitching a little bit, a lot of feeling each other out, but in only three innings, you don't have time. We're already in the bottom of the second. That's right, here's Max Muncy. Garrett Cole out for another inning. Muncy first pitch swinging. Flies out to left, and that's how we get the bottom of the second starter. Remember, play, this is a three-inning game. Here's Will Smith. Bienvenido saw Will Smith. And he looks at a ball low. It's 1-0. Power hitting slugger behind the plate for the Dodgers. And you look at little man and Trevor. Trying to get some offense going here. Looking for their first hit in this game. Fouls that one back. Oh, now we're getting the crowd up now here. The, now the crowd's getting hyped because they're throwing out swag. <laughs> That's what we want to see. It's about to get rowdy, folks. There we go. Chopper to third. Donaldson fields, fires. There's two down. We've already had one one nothing game in this tournament. We could be staring at another. Here's Cody Bellinger. Garrett Cole starts him off with an off-speed pitch. We've seen a lot of circle changes early in the count from the Garrett Cole card. And yes, he did on the swing. This is, this is some great pitching by JX and Gabe Smith so far. Now, I can't see it, because remember, we were in on the, on the Shelfie baseballologist scan and Lauren Chamberlain game. I think they've resumed, and we, when we'll get an update, I can give you a score. Uh, all right, so that game is tied at two. All right, so the game that we were watching a few moments ago, they are tied at two. This game, no score, and we're going to the third and final inning. I talked about what lineup would we see. We do see Glaber Torres in the lineup for this Yankees team. Glaber Torres leading off here. We'll show you some of the highlights of that Shelfie baseballologist scan Lauren Chamberlain matchup in just a few moments. As Gratterall on for his second inning of work. Facing Glaber Torres. Here's the 2-0. Now he's down to the count 3-0. A little too cute right now on the Dodgers side. Yeah, I mean, when you throw 98 or 100, you got to challenge, challenge him. That's in for a strike. It's three and one. There's another strike. Mm, 95 mile per hour cutter. I think Glaber might have had the take sign. <laughs> Here's grounder up the middle. Nice play. Listen, that's a great point with your teammate. How do you deal with it? Are the pros, the captains of their team, are they, are they sending signs? Is there an indicator on right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean, hey, take signs on, man. Here's Joey Gallo. Real life Joey Gallo going deep against the Red Sox yesterday. That's right. So what if it was 11 to 2? Well, you know, it still counts. As Freddie Freeman collects that grounder and steps on the bag, and there's two down here. And now MLB All-Star, Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. Chopper up the middle. Turner scoops. Throw across oh. the first. Nice scoop by Freddie Freeman at first, and that retires aside. Boy, a lot of first pitch swinging there. Very quick half inning. And we go to the bottom of the third. And Trevor and Little Man with a chance. All they need is one to advance to the second round. We see some MLB the show swag being thrown out here at LA Live. 0-1. Oh How about Garrett Cole out for another inning? <laughs> we, I don't think we've seen a pitcher go a complete three innings yet. Hey, I like that hoodie there. It's nice. Uh, yeah, Bucket Hat Brigade is here. Here we go. Is that more of a straw hat? Beard game strong? <laughs> All right, they're adjusting the monitors. Uh, for Little Man and Trevor right now, so that's why there was a brief stoppage in the action. Here's the 1-1 from Cole. Mm, that cutter caught a lot of the plate. Now, obviously, Jeff, remember, you know, even though it's still just the third inning, the energy is going to 
Well, the energy in the building is up right That's now. That's right. The energy in the pitcher is going to dip. Here's the 2-2 for Cole. Little dribbler back to Cole. He'll throw over to first. And that's how the bottom of the third gets started. And you can see Garrett Cole keeping the ball away. Away, low and away. And here we go. Here's the pitching change that we might have expected. Are all these Chapman? Not in a save situation. Not in a save situation, no. Facing a left-hander as of now in the form of Jake Lamb, but will we see Little Man and Trevor make a make a move to the bench and bring in a pinch hitter? And not going to the All-Star, Clay Holmes. Now he's been unbelievable. Uh, Just an unbelievable first half for Clay Holmes. You know, it's a good problem that the Yankees have right now in real life in terms of their bullpen. As we get some of the changes being made, you know, it, you don't play a three inning game all the time, Robert, obviously, and, and it changes the game strategy here. You talked about Garrett Cole losing some of that stamina, but not quite to the point that we're in the sixth or seventh right. inning, but you're still trying to throw your opponent off. You're trying to play this game of strategy right now. All right, so we're going to have Austin Barnes facing the left handed Araldus Chapman. That two-seamer runs wide, it's 1-0. and oh. Ball sent deep, but well foul. Count evens at 1-1. One and one. Remember, we're scheduled for three. We could be staring at extra innings. We got one more, away here. More pop in Araldis Chapman's pitches. Could mean more pop the opposite way. But he's fallen behind here, three and one. Swing away. <laughs> Nasty splitter down in the dirt. Even That's bold. Runs the count full at three and two. Fly ball in the infield. Torres waves everyone off. And there's two down. All right, here's Gavin Lux. Now will we see another pinch hitter? The adjustments continuing to be made as we are going to get Monser Alberto. We've yet to, I, I don't think we have a hit in this game. You know, uh, we're going to see that. I, I think you're right. You know, two outs. You're also thinking about extra innings right now. This is a two out opportunity. Count even at one and one. Monser Alberto. Pinch hitting. No score. Fly ball. On the run is the right fielder, and Judge will make the catch, and that retires the side. All right. So no runs, no hits, no errors for either team in the first three innings. And for the first time in MLB All-Star Creators Cup history, we get extra innings. That's right. And those extra inning rules, which are in effect right now, for Major League Baseball, I believe that we're going to see them. So you will have, we don't call it the ghost runner. <laughs> all right, because it's an actual person. All right, I, I don't like when people refer, uh, people refer it to as a ghost runner. It's not like the, uh, the Little League World Series, the special no. pinch runner? No, but you will, we will start this inning with a runner at second base for each team. So that, uh, as you see here, the Yankees Oh, they're going to haul it a base hit. So now, and the runner doesn't move, doesn't go. That's right. So now the, the team of JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, they have runners at first and second, no one out, in the top of the fourth. And of Aaron Judge at the plate as Bruce Dar Gratterall in for his third inning yeah. of work. I'm a little surprised. I'm surprised, especially, if, you know, that's how Little Man is deciding to operate this team right now. That ball sent deep to left field. The left fielder turns and watches it fly. It's out of here. It's a three-run homer for Aaron Judge. And yeah, let that replay flow. That's a goal. JX Gaming and Gabe Smith sees control in the top of the fourth. And we can see how hyped they are. That goes into the bullpen. That's not going to help right now with Bruce Dark Gratterall still on the mound. Those guys are back there. And now all of a sudden, that team of Little Man and Trevor Fonstrom in a hole. Wow. 
All right, so double barrel action, and now they will go to the bullpen, but maybe a batter too late. Evan Phillips facing the lefty, Anthony Rizzo. This game has changed in one swing. I can't even imagine the, the headlines from the Los Angeles newspapers tomorrow about little man's decisions. <laughs> Rizzo, one and one to Evan Phillips. And it's now two and one. Remember, you, you still, the Dodgers are gonna get that runner on second to start extra innings. This game far from over in extras in the fourth inning. But Phillips has fallen behind, three one. Now three and two to Anthony Rizzo with Giancarlo Stanton on deck. Trevor lives in Chicago, so it might be hard to play against Anthony Rizzo right now. So Rizzo draws a walk. Still no one out here in the top of the fourth. Three runs already in. Giancarlo Stanton looks at a changeup low. It's 1-0. and Here's the 1-0. Ooh. Whew. That was perfect, perfect <laughs> destruction. Second homer of the inning. It's 5-0. Giancarlo Stanton goes deep talked about him already hitting one out of Dodger Stadium in his life. This thing goes up into the tunnel back there in left center. StatCast powered by Google Cloud had it at 433 feet. We didn't have a hit through the first three innings and now in this fourth inning, Yayo and Gabe Smith have exploded for five runs. This is gonna be the first out of the inning. Man, and you're right, we had no hits, we had no runs. That extra base runner on second base changes the entire mindset, the entire game, and has opened things up for Gabe Smith and JX Gaming. Yeah, you had a infield hit to start the inning, and then a three-run homer from Judge, followed by a two-run homer from Giancarlo Stanton, giving us the 5 nothing score. As Evan Phillips is behind in the count, 3-0. To Aaron Hicks. Oh, blue, where was that? Borderline call goes the way of the Yankees, and Hicks draws a one out walk, and here's Labor Torres. And you can feel everything being sucked out of the room, even right now, for Trevor Fonstrom and Little Man. Meantime, I think we have a final in our Shelfie base baseballologist and scan Lauren Chamberlain matchup. We'll give you details on that shortly. But here it's 5 nothing. Ball in the dirt, smothered by the catcher. And Hicks has to remain at first. Evan Phillips has been roughed up here in this inning. As Glaber Torres fouls that one off, it's two and two. Gabe Smith, JX Gaming going Glaber Torres instead of Kiner Falefa. Here's payoff pitch. Sharply hit ball, but right at the left fielder. And there's two down. Still hitting the ball hard. That, yeah. Even on those outs. Yeah, the team of Smith and JX Gaming really making good contact here in this half inning. And for the Yankee fans, they see an old rival right now on the mound. David Price, who spent time with three different teams in the AL East. Oh, that's right, he sure did. Rays, Red Sox. And very briefly, the Toronto Blue Jays. And that's gonna end the inning. But not before. Two long balls, one from Stanton, one from Judge. It's 5 nothing. JX Gaming and Gabe Smith leading. Try, they're three outs away from advancing to the second round. Runner does start in second, remember. So you've got Mookie Betts, you've got the start of the lineup. Same thing the Yankees had, top of the order here in extra innings. Trevor and Littleman obviously needing traffic on the base path. Huge deficit. Here in the bottom of the fourth, Aroldis Chapman on for his second inning of work. 
Gabe Smith and JX Gaming taking their time right now, gathering themselves. They're not giving this game, they're not patting themselves on the back quite yet. I think, guys, you might need to remember you're, you're going to be the ones pitching right now. They're waiting to hit. You know, sometimes you, you have that, Robert, where you're sitting there going, when's this guy going to pitch? Oh, wait. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the pitching team. Yeah. You're killing the stream, man. Come on. <laughs> keep going. All right, as we're back here, Jeff, Robert, they're gonna, working out some technical issues over there, and we're going to take a break in the action. Uh, again, we do have... That previous matchup we were showing between Shelfie and Baseballologist versus Scan and yeah. Lauren Chamberlain, um, I think that game has gone final. Uh, he's Jeff, I'm Robert. Thank you for joining us, whether it's on YouTube or on Twitch. Um, as we already have one second round matchup set, yep. uh, but most of the first round matchups, we've still got some work to do. Yeah, and this is a historic moment if you're just joining us right now. We're playing in person for the first time, MLB The Show, this MLB All-Star Creators Cup. We're at LA Live in the middle of the thick of everything out here, right? Crowd, we, we got a crowd for the first time really in person here at LA Loud. Uh, LA, LA Loud, that's, that's what I got. Well, it's loud, LA you want live. it loud following us right now as we move things along in this MLB All-Star Creators Cup. We're going to take a look right now. Robert's got some leather he's taking a look at uh, here. We're going to get a look yeah, at we'll some get, highlights. We'll show you that in just a second, but let's get to the highlights. Show you the matchup here in this All-Star Creators Cup. There you go. That was the team of Shelfie and Baseballologist playing as the Philadelphia Phillies matched up against Scan and Lauren Chamberlain. Max Scherzer in the first inning as Alex Bohm sends one to right ball misplayed out there in right field. It's hard with a three inning game, you can't make mistakes like that. That opened things up. Alec Baum going all the way to third base and that set the pace for that Phillies team. And then a good AB here by Shelfie. Reese Hoskins at the plate, didn't try to do too much, more than enough to score the runner from third. Just stays in the park there at Dodger Stadium, but that is just pure baseball right there. Get the run in, hit a fly ball with the runner on third. You can see that, okay. Now we're up. Now let's hold on. So there was a reset after that, but one to nothing was the score. This is Pete Alonso. No ball thrown wide at second and at first. So shoddy defense out of the field. Can they handle this one? No. Yes. <laughs> so they got one. So at this point, the game is one to one based on the reset. Oh, diving stop by the second baseman in the drawn-in infield. Run does score, but he does keep that other run at third. Yeah, and that was the problem with that double play unable to be turned. So now all of a sudden it's two to one. That team right there, Scan and Lauren Chamberlain are happy. Here's Kyle Schwarber as Max Scherzer. Oh, that's perfect, perfect. Nemo with a chance, but the, could not time the jump. And it was a solo homer by Kyle Schwarber. A good mirroring of real life right now, the way that Kyle Schwarber is hitting the baseball. You saw Wade back. Scherzer missed the spot. That allowed the opportunity. So the score's 2-2 here. When Bohm again sends it to right field. And again, it gets past Marte. And that's actually in extra innings in that third inning. So that all of a sudden right there, that is a walk-off hit for Shelfie and Baseballologist. All right, so they are on to the second round, and they are awaiting the winner of Little Man and Trevor Fawnstrom and versus JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. Now let's refresh your memory. JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, and Gabe Smith, they scored five runs in yep. the fourth inning, and that's where we stand as we got a pause in the action. Yeah, they're at five nothing right now in the bottom of the fourth of that game. But Carlin Baith right now is with our latest winners, Shelfie and Baseballologist. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, oh, Shelfie, we were just standing here admiring the replay, the highlights. How's it feel to walk away with this win? Oh, huge. We almost shot ourselves in the foot there defensively. We had to bounce back. We hit a couple balls hard. My man right here had a good ball, big walk right there. Set me up for that walk, although that was huge. How did you keep your composure? You just stayed so cool, calm, and collected, going for the fist bumps. Like, how do you do that? It's only round one. We're here for the trophy, and that's only uh, that's only first competition. So on the next. Your competition didn't make it easy, though. You guys went into extra innings there. How they keep you on the ropes before you pulled off the win? Um, you know, it's just it's keeping your composure, staying motivated, understanding what the uh, what the, the real prize is. Just just because you make one mistake, don't matter. It's how you finish.
And Shelfie, it's great to see you get so animated. You know the crowd can really feed off of that. Anything you want to say to them? It's it's kind of fun having a live crowd here at LA Live. Oh, this is amazing. It's the first MLB The Show esports competition of all time, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You heard them, boys. Back to the desk. Bro float. Carla, thanks. Congratulations to baseballologist and Shelfie. I love Shelfie. I mean, one of the great streamers, one of the good, really good players here at, uh, at this event. I was about to refer to him as the mayor of the MLB The Show community, I feel like. You know, a lot of people look to Shelfie, see his lead for a lot of ways in terms of whether it be streaming, whether it be gameplay. And I know you had a chance earlier this week to interview Shelfie and Ashley Sanders. Yeah, yeah, we, on, on MLB Central, uh, which airs Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern on MLB Network. We had a chance to uh, to talk with Ashley and Shelfie in advance of, of this event, uh, and they were obviously uh, very excited about it. it. It's been a really cool event. Love to see the people in person, as you mentioned. And it's worth mentioning, I know we've done it a couple of times, but a historic first ever in-person esports event for MLB The Show 2022. And it's only going to get bigger and better moving forward. Yeah, and I know, Robert, you've been streaming the game for, for a few years now, whether it be Facebook, whether it be yeah. Twitch, wherever you're at. And, and you know, you had the opportunity to see this community grow. And now seeing what we're looking at here as the competition continues to grow, what are your reactions to that? I, I just love it. I mean, there's so many possibilities of, of this uh, for this franchise and, and, and gaming title to, to move forward. There's so many excellent, talented players. I mean, we just had the Summer Circuit Finals uh, and, and there are so many excellent players. So just to see the, the possibilities of, of an event like this in person and, and what 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 the, the the future holds for, for this particular game, I, I think, is really exciting. Yeah, I'm looking into the chat right now. Shout out to everyone watching. We got over 17,000 on the Sony San Diego Twitch channel right now. I see H. Masso wants to see Kooks versus Shelfie in the final. Time will tell yeah. who we take a look at as we get the restart. It appears going here between the Yankees and Dodgers. The Yankees playing with JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. The Dodgers' little man, Trevor Fonstrom, 0-0, no hits through three innings. We've gone to extras, start with a runner on second base, and five runs in the top half of that inning from JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. All right, so after the freeze, we are about to get underway. There's a good look at Stephen Kinez. What's up, Stephen? How you doing? High black looking sweet. Hair looking even sweeter. I mean, he looks like a baseball player. All right, so when, remember, when last we left, Little Man and Trevor, they had a lot of work to do. They were down 5 nothing, uh, But they are coming to the plate with a runner at second. We're about to get underway. See my good friend Dimu out there. What's up, man? How you doing? Keeping it real. <laughs> we see a lot of big names out here, Robert. Big yeah. names, of course, at the All-Star Celebrity softball game earlier this week. Lauren Chamberlain was there, That's right. as were others, and we checked in. Hey, what's up? This is Robert Flores from MLB Network. Celebrity softball game just right around the corner. Celebs taking some hacks. Let's take you inside. My gamer tag is the franchise. They used to call me that when I was a kid. I'm kind of scared to show my gamer tag because I'm going to have a lot of friends and I'm going to have to change it again. I feel like it would be like Sparkle Queen 99. My gamer tag is 91. My gaming persona is my real life persona. I hate to lose. If I lose, we got to play again until I win. I'm like chill, sit back, focus, and competitive. Always trying to win. MLB The Show is fire. I mean, I remember when the game first came out, so I've been playing it since then. My walkout song is Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. I got to make sure I get that good music flowing. -na 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 get them good juices going. I dig in a little bit, you know. Down, bounce, and down. I'm trying to intimidate my pitch and look at them down in the eyes. They can't see my eyes. We're going to give a ball change swing. Step back in. Call my energy. Then give it up to God. Then hit that ball. And then I'm ready to do it. Some of the images from the All-Star Celebrity Game on Saturday here in Los Angeles as part of All-Star Weekend. He's Jeff, I'm Robert, thank you for joining us here. This is the MLB All-Star Creators Cup live here at LA Live. All right, so we're back at it. This is the Yankees and the Dodgers. The score bug doesn't indicate it, but the score is 5-0, okay? Gabe and JX Gaming 
They're in the field with a 5-0 lead. Jeff, they're three outs away from going to the second round. This is the bottom of the fourth for all intents and purposes right now. Also, great job with that, that feature right there, Robert. Love the sports jacket and t-shirt look. Uh, well, uh, I yeah. mean, you know, it's so hard to, <laughs> to be fashionable yet functional at the same time. The chat knows what I'm talking about. They're always keeping it strong and positive. All right, so runner at second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Rexy, I don't think this one quite has the distance. And that's out number one. Frustration for Freddie Freeman right now. Now, interesting here to note, Jeff, that because of the freeze, they're able to use Garrett Cole again. Yes, yes. This is some of the elements of the gameplay here. And yes, you're right. Get these. Because of Roldis Chapman. Up. Yep. Yep. He pitched that second inning. Or no, the third, the third inning, inning, I believe it. But now we're back to Garrett Cole facing Max Muncy. But also remember, they've already seen Garrett Cole through with this same lineup That's true. in these same spots. They're play playing with the top of the order right now as Max Muncy comes up empty. It's 0-2. Did he? Oh, yes, he did. What a win. What a win for JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. Perhaps an upset that people did not see coming, but the Yankees moving on against the Dodgers. Five nothing is the final. As JX Gaming and Gabe Smith now move on to the second round, congratulations as they defeat Little Man and Trevor. Uh, Yankees over the Dodgers. Let's go check in with Carlin, who's with the winners. Thanks so much, Robert. All right, we've got JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. Guys, what an explosive extra innings for the two of you there. Five runs, two of them home runs. What were you feeling there as you were taking a lead? Uh, that was amazing. Honestly, I was just waiting for, for the, the ball in the middle in the, in the plane, and I go for it. How were you guys able to close it out there so quickly once that game got restarted and extra innings picked back up? Uh, he was just putting some good pitches out there, you know, getting quick outs. Uh, yeah, the carry was real for sure. The carry was real. Now you play ball in real life, right? Yeah, I do. How does that translate into the game? Do you feel some of that same competition or that same pressure? Uh, maybe the timing a little bit, and then uh, I know how the game situations work, so that really helps. How is your teammate today? They're doing really good. Yeah. We was in communication every single moment, and I think that was the key. Anything to say to your fans out there? I know a lot of people love watching your channel. Anything you want to tell them? Hey, it's Puerto Rico over here. We re representing Puerto Rico. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining over here. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Congrats for moving on. Roflow, back to the desk. Carlin, thanks. All right, Jeff, as you said, I mean, Little Man is an excellent player. Yeah. He's consistently playing on legend. Uh, I, I mean, the guy can play. His skills on the sticks are without question, but it was JX Gaming and and Gabe Smith, who were too much. Well, you said JX Gaming won your competition that you had had. We knew he was a winner. This was a gritty performance as we're watching some of the highlights. I mean, this was a pitcher's duel for three innings, mixing and matching the pitchers for both teams that, you know, that move was made. Clayton Kershaw, Brewster Gratterall, that move in the second inning. We wondered if it was the right move. Brewster Gratterall was still ultimately in in the fourth when we went to extra innings we got the runner on base and that is when jx gaming oh and gabe smith took off yeah that's that's the perfect perfect sound right there and you saw the third baseman his head dip as soon as aaron judge sent it deep to left field well, th this is the formula. You play as the Yankees, you got to get the hits with Aaron Judge, and this guy, John Carlos, standing an absolute rocket to left center field. Two home runs by the big all-stars for the Yankees. That's the difference. Yeah, and, and I think both Gabe and JX were able to, to go deep. So it wasn't like it was it was equal, equal distribution there for the production as Trevor and Little Man come up short but losing to the to JX and Gabe by the final of five to nothing. So now Shelfie and Baseballologist will meet, meet up with JX Gaming and Gabe Smith in one second round matchup. Our other second round matchup, Coogs and Trisha is a birdie, will face Yayo and Jimmy Hill. Now Coogs and Trisha is a birdie, and for that matter, Yayo and Jimmy Hill, they've been sitting for yeah. 
going on in about 20 minutes. I wonder how that affects them moving forward. And that'll be a good matchup, Angels, Braves. Yeah, you've had a chance also, you know, remember Cougs, they jumped in first. That was the first game. They were the guinea pigs out here on this setting in LA Live in front of all of the fans, the first duo to win here in person. Now they've had a chance to gather themselves, maybe talk some strategy. You've also felt out your teammate at this point, Robert. You know the way each of each other operate. You can give each other advice. You can keep each other's composure. Now we're getting in the, in the thick of things. And I think you saw from the emotion there of Little Man and Trevor, it's all fun and games. And these creators have had an awesome time hanging out with each other before starting. But once you get in the thick of competition, the emotions change, the energy changes, and now it heightens here in the semifinals. All right, here we go. Second round matchup, Cougs and Trisha Isaberti playing as the LA Angels, matched up against Yeo and Jimmy Hill playing as the Atlanta Braves. Cougs and Trisha only scored one run in their first round game. It was a leadoff homer for Mike Trout. Yeo and Jimmy Hill, they had a little bit more offense in their first round win. Yeah, and we're gonna see they had a little bit, you know, there, was a, there were a couple resets there in those first rounds as teams settle in. This was the difference. They played as the home team last time, Cougs and Trisha Isaberti. A home run by Mike Trout, a one to nothing win. He's leading off again. All right, Mike Trout went deep in the first round victory, as we mentioned, facing Charlie Morton. And that's past the diving first baseman, Matt Olson, and Mike Trout again with another leadoff hit to open the game. This is some benefits that you're gonna get from a player like Mike Trout in this game. That was an inside pitch, inside outed. Very late the on the swing timing as well. But you get that benefit of him, his attributes being so high, and that mirrors real life. Mike Trout can do that, even swing late in real life. Michael Stefanik, late, late swing, and then chases out of the zone. As Trisha goes down swinging, and there's one away, and that'll bring up Taylor Ward. Here's Coogs batting as Taylor Ward. One down here in the top of the first, second round matchup here in this MLB All-Star Creators Cup Live. 2022 here at LA Live. Chop foul, it's one and two. That misses inside, evens a count at two and two. I was really impressed with the pitching from Yeo and Jimmy Hill with Charlie Morton in the first round, doing it again. This could be two, flip for one, fire it for two. That's a double play and that ends the inning as Yeo and Jimmy Hill. I, I'm, I'm really impressed with the way that they've adjusted the pitches with Charlie Morton and now against this Angels lineup. I know Mike Trout got the hit, but really they will be difficult to hit throughout the rest of this tournament. And here, get the, this that is what you have to do. The bullpen has to get started here in the first inning. Yeah, three inning game, as you, uh, as our players know, watching on either on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, this is ba basically battle royale format. You're not picking the teams. We're playing with live series rosters. We're getting a lot of friend requests <laughs> as Ronald Acuna Jr. steps into the box. And looks at a ball, uh, looks at a strike from Noah Syndergaard. Yeah, yeah, this is where we get a change in the pitching. Chopper to third. Oh, got to throw the ball. Oh, <laughs> just in time to ge get the speedy Ronald Acuna Jr. I think Trisha is controlling the fielding behind Coogs there as she breathes a huge oh, sigh yeah. of relief to get that out number one. And Matt Olson at the dish. I, you know, I thought maybe we'd get a Braves, excuse me, an Angels Mets lineup. Wanted to see Noah Syndergaard pitch against the Mets, but we get Angels. Hot Oops. shot to first. Walsh has got a flip over to first and in time. You well, know, they are really spamming some, his, his some, friend request right now. <laughs> some showboating. <laughs> Trisha is a birdie in the field. Okay. Let's get it back here while we. Taunting, out. some might say. Yeah. But two outs. I mean, come on. The, the, the guy's trying to, to win the Creators <laughs> Cup, and you guys are spamming him with friend requests. All right, so uh, remember, that second round matchup is just underway. No score. Uh, we do have another second round matchup here. Keep me honest here. We got JX Gaming is on to the second round with Gabe Smith, and they will be taking on Shelfie 
and baseballologist yep. in, in the other semifinal. Yeah, that'll be the Yankees against the Phillies, 2008 yep. World Series, with, 2009 World Series, excuse me, we're throwing yeah. it back. Yeah, as the, uh, that's the, uh, that's, by the way, that's the last title that the Yankees uh, have won. Uh, Just know, to put that in perspective, Jeff, for you and, uh, other, and other Yankee fans out there, there on, on Twitch or on YouTube, uh, the Yankees have, have not won a, a title Basically, since the iPad came out, you're gonna have to show me the stats on that. I don't really. I know that's that's that's, right. that's in yeah, fact true. I can't true. believe that. that, that, that the Yankees couldn't have gone a whole decade without winning a World Series. Basically, that couldn't have happened. basically, tablet technology has evolved and evolved and evolved again, and the Yankees still have not won a title. I think since I already took a shot at no one picking the Red Sox, I think this is a valid, valid <laughs> argument here. As we're looking at the crowd here. Fans settling in in the afternoon, Monday afternoon in Los Angeles, the first ever MLB All-Star Creators Cup. We've got pros, those who stream, they play professionally for a living, playing with some fellow creators, maybe outside of the top level MLB, the show sphere, some teamwork being worked. There's Ashley Sanders. There's Ashley. There's Ashley and her partner uh, lost in their first round matchup, but Ashley is still out here. Steven Kinez, looking sweet with the, with the hair and the eye black. Uh, he and his partner, Flank Thomas, also bowed out in the first round as well. All right, I think we're jumping back into action now. Pick it up here, bottom first, no score, two outs, Noah Syndergaard. Remember, in the first matchup, Coogs and Trisha used Shohei Otani. Yep. Now they're going with Noah Syndergaard. Which makes me believe we'll see Shohei Otani in the lineup today. We didn't yep. see him batting in the last game. They decided to, to sit him down, just pitch him. All right, there's a 2-0 sinker in for a strike. It's now 2-1 to Austin Riley. Well, maybe taking a pitch there, 2-0 off speed. That one is low. It's 3-1. All-star William Contreras on deck. As the Contreras brothers are both going to be part of yeah. the National League squad tomorrow night at Dodger Stadium. Yeah, what an awesome scene that's going to be for them and their families. It's already been awesome seeing them celebrate that. Austin Riley lifts one to right field. Going back is the right fielder. He'll make the catch, and that retires the side. We're through one, no score. As Trisha and Coops, they are playing as the LA Angels. Yayo and Jimmy, they are playing as the Atlanta Braves. Both Yayo and Jimmy are huge Red Sox fans, but Yayo, who was the person in charge, he was the captain, if you will, making the pick in the draft. And a big shout out to MLB Shop providing us with these jerseys, these MLB All-Star jerseys that you're seeing our competitors wearing. Yeah, they look very are, sweet. And they are custom. They have the players' names are on the back of these jerseys. There's a swing and a miss, and Charlie Morton gets a strikeout to open the top of the second, and that'll bring up Jared Walsh. A lot of excitement about this guy in the greater Los Angeles, Orange County community, Jared Walsh. Good player, good hitter. You know, Jimmy Hill out there, he was wearing an I am Jimmy Hill name on the back of his jersey, has been, he's been talking to the cameras out there, he's talking to Coogs the entire time right now, he's gotta back it up. Now three and one, as Jared Walsh definitely in a hitter's count facing Charlie Mort. Ooh, good contact there, but couldn't keep it fair. That'll run the count full. Payoff pitch from Charlie Mort. Sends that one to left, but just foul, and we'll do it again. And he'll draw a one-out walk. Good AB there. And Jared Walsh is aboard with a one-out walk here at the top of the second. Here's Luis Renjifo. As you see, Trisha is now controlling the batter. Co-op mode, 2v2. Swing and a miss, ball in the dirt. Contreras is there to block it. Trisha, a great streamer on her own. Streaming cooking, not MLB the show usually. Maybe we'll get some multitasking after this. Yeah. I'd like, your, like to see her, you know, whip up something how, while she's got the sticks in her hand. How much can you cook while also playing MLB The Show? Yeah. All right, so there's two down here. Top of the second. Max Stassi facing Charlie Morton. His second round matchup here. Ooh. I'm telling you, they have been 
grinding Charlie Morton, trying to paint every single corner. There's a base hit up the middle. Runners at first and second and two down as Max Stassi has a two out knock. In this co-op mode, you see the in-person momentum, the chemistry, Cougs, Trisha is a birdie getting hyped. And Charlie Morton throws a cutter at the top of the zone. It's 0-1. Brandon Marsh stepping to the plate. Fouls that one off and he's down in an 0-2 hole. Looks at a circle change low. It's one and two. Chopper to short. This should end the inning. Swanson backhanded. Stop and throw across to first, and that retires the side. Two runners left stranded. Still no score. We're going to the bottom of the second. Here's William Contreras. We've seen a couple low scoring games, a couple high scoring games. Braves playing high scoring in their first matchup. And this is where the depth of the Braves lineup can come in. Yeah. Getting to deeper in the innings. The Braves a bit deeper than the Angels. That benefits Yeo and Jimmy Hill. William Contreras, the cleanup hitter, down on the count 0-1 as Syndergaard works his second inning. Shallow fly ball. Trout on the move. Squeezes it, and there's one away. If you're just joining us, we're playing three inning matchups here at the MLB All-Star Creators Cup, a single elimination tournament. We're on to the semifinals. Co-op mode, 2v2, pros and ams. Pros and amateurs joining together. Eddie Rosario steps in, one away here in the bottom of the second, and looks at a ball low. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, as we mentioned, Listen, the pros, they're prolific streamers. They play MLB The Show all the time. That ball sent deep to left field. Going back is the left fielder who will make the catch. And there's two away. Well, that's, I see a picture, I see a, in the chat. Why is there not, no pinpoint pitching? Well, there is some pinpoint pitching. Each of these competitors is playing with their own settings, whatever they feel comfortable with in terms of the pitching, in terms of the hitting. And that's what MLB The Show offers, so many different yeah. options on both sides of the plate. But our pros are paired with various content creators yep. and their experience with the game varies you know yes. some are familiar with it some really aren't quite as familiar. in this point we in this uh instance we have a chef against a community manager for a baseball club company yeah you know just all as coming together as dansby swanson lazy fly ball another chance for trout and that will end the inning we're through two no score in this second round matchup here of the MLB All-Star Creators Cup 2022. Look at some of the fans here in person, LA Live. Jonathan VR. Shout out to my man Scuffy, who loves a good VR <laughs> card. Loves a good Jonathan VR card. As we wait a sec here for some potential moves to be made. Yeah, double barrel action, Jansen and Matzik. Jansen, the former Dodger. Yeah, where's Little Man is, is, I think Cedric Mullins is coming to say hi to Little Man. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> and we will see the former Dodger, Kenley Jansen, as we have a pitching change. As we are now in the third inning, these are three inning games. If we're still tied at three, we'll have extra inning rules with the runner at second. We're not going to get the Kenley Jansen Freddie Freeman matchup today as the Dodgers have already been eliminated. Two and one count to VR, the pinch hitter. Just gets a piece of that slider and the count's even at two and two. The cut piece misses. Mike Trout on deck, full count, payoff pitch. Sharply hit ball in for a hit. A base hit to right for Jonathan VR, and while this live series card doesn't run as well as previous versions of Jonathan VR, still pretty good speed out there yeah. at first. Yeah, and that was the right decision. The, the pinch hitter was made, you know, that benefits the move. And I love this teamwork. You can see how Coogs is, is also helping Trisha as a birdie with her eye right now, calling, calling in some help. Look how close he is. Good eye there. So now Trisha with the chance to bat with Mike Trout because of the alternating format of 2v2, but he 
She comes up empty, and that's the first out of the top of the third. That's what Abner Doubleday said. He wanted this to work for co-op mode. That's why he chose nine batters. Yes, that's right. That's right. Friendships are tested in co-op mode, no doubt. That's a great pitch at the top of the zone. It's 0 and 2 to Michael Stefanik. As now Coogs trying to make something happen for his team. He's the one controlling Stefanik. Good eye. And Yeo on the other side, not afraid to throw junk with any of these pitchers. Yeah, this is an instance where you have a pro matching up against the pro. Yeo is the pitching, controlling the pitching, and Coogs, as you see his frustration, thought he thought he should have done more with that pitch. Yeah, that's a big benefit there to that team of Yeo and Jimmy Hill getting the second out of the inning. Remember, the base runner on with nobody out to start this top of the third. Mm. Taylor Ward swings through the first pitch, and he's down to the count 0-1. Fouls that one back. It's 0-2. So now the pressure on Trisha because she's controlling two of the three batters scheduled here in this inning. As Contreras gives it a look. And the unnecessary dive. <laughs> we'll do it again. And yes, he did. Tried to hold up but could not. And that retires the side. Still no score. Going to the bottom of the third. Yayo and Jimmy Hill with a chance to end it right here. Look, we had four runs from Yayo and Jimmy Hill in that first game. They won 4 nothing, No hits through two innings. Now they go to the bottom of the lineup, but these guys have been in good spirits. And now the, the game's in their court. You know, you are in the bottom of the third. We're playing three-inning games. You just need to think about playing small ball, one run. Aaron Loop's going to come in. They're going to go lefty-lefty with Robinson Cano. And now we'll see if an adjustment is made from the Yayo and Jimmy Hill side. So here's Robinson Cano facing the nasty lefty Aaron Loop. Tell you what, last year's, I think it was last year's all-star card of Aaron Loop. I used that, I rode that card into the ground, man. And a really good card. And Cano slaps one the other way, but it'll hang up for the left fielder, Marsh. And quickly, there's one down. And this is where I talk about the, the deep lineup of the Braves. You've got Marcelo Zuna all the way at the eighth spot for this squad. Can't be swinging like that, though, way early. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Sends that one foul. I think, is this Yeo controlling Ozuna? I think so. Or is, no, by that reaction, it looked <laughs> like it was Jimmy controlling it. Jimmy, I believe, has the evens. Yeo with the odds as we are in semifinal action right now of our MLB All-Star Creators Cup. Single elimination co-op mode, three inning games. This is the bottom of the third. Adam Duvall, the pinch hitter. Aaron Loop dealing with the right-handed Duvall. Misses inside. He's behind in the count, 2-0. That's in for a strike. It's two and one. Yeah, taking all the way. I, I don't agree with it in this three inning game. Swing the bat with your pinch hitter Duval. I'm sending. I'm, I'm giving the green light if there's any question about it right now, Robert. Three one. Mm. Not with a swing like that. Though. No, that's going to stay in the infield, and Loop will make the play himself, and that retires the side. We're going into extra innings. Lead runner will be at second base to start the inning. And I'm interested to see how both these teams change up their bullpen a little bit. As we see Adam Duvall now inserted in center field after that pinch hitting moment for the Braves. David McKinnon up for the Angels. Kenley Jensen, this would be, Jansen, this would be, I believe, his second yeah, inning. Yeah, second of work. inning of work. I'm thinking they're going to go to go to the bullpen here, yes? As we're seeing some lineup changes here. And double barrel action. Matzik is the lefty. Colin McHugh is the righty. Yayo, Jimmy Hill, Trisha Isaberti, and Coogs. That's our first semifinal matchup. Shelfie and baseballologist will be taking on JX Gaming and Gabe Smith in just a moment. As McKinnon finds himself quickly down in the count. Looks at a ball high.
That misses low and wide. It's two and two. This is the strategy from the Braves. Good eye there. Really good, good take. And the count is full. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, oh whoa. Did he, did, he, did he hold up? Uh. Yes, he did. Wow. What so a good moment. A.B. there. It's runners at first and second. No one out. And Jared Walsh has got some pop in that bat. Oh, bunchies? Is someone bunchies in right now? Is that what we're doing still it, in 2022? It looks like a game of chicken right okay. now. Coogs and Trisha is a birdie. We might. It, it is, I think we caught a freeze. This, this might be some technical yeah. uh, I was, issues what? that we're going to deal with. I was thinking, you, you can't bunt cheese. I was thinking you you can't, certainly can. I mean, you can, but you can't bunt cheese in the Creators <laughs> Cup. <laughs> you certainly can with the with the with first and second and nobody out. As we take a look at Little Man over there, unfortunately for him, a loss with the Dodgers yeah. in the first round. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he he is out of the competition as he and his partner uh, Trevor were eliminated in Extra the first innings. round. Extra innings game. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it, although the score would not indicate <laughs> that. It, it was five, five to nothing uh, extra inning game there. But uh, Trevor and Little Man are out. JX Gaming and Gabe Smith with that win. We've got a whole crowd out here in LA Live. And actually, Carlin's going to be giving some stuff away. Oh, there you go, Carly. We are. I've got my guys here with me. We've got some swag. We're just wondering who in the crowd wants some of this. Make some noise, everybody. We're coming out to you right now. We got hoodies. We got backpacks, jackets galore. I don't have the best arm, so you might have to come take it from me. Here we go, over here. One for you. Nice. All right. Who needs a hoodie? Right here, let's go. Here you go. I got one more left in my hands. There you go, girlfriend. How we feeling, LA Live? You guys doing good or what? Guys, I think this crowd is doing just fine. Maybe even a little bit better now after all that swag. Uh, you inspired me to put my jacket back on, Carlin. You know, I know oh, it's yeah, Los Angeles. Point. It looks good, Jeff. It I, looks good. I feel like I could walk in and people might actually think that I'm I'm good at it, baseball or MLB. Oh, show. no, you don't know, worry I, I about that. To, no, no, no one would ever no one's think, that. think that. No one would ever think that, even though you have a Look, jacket I'm, on. I'm part of the play, you know, MLB players Absolutely. right here. Some really... And look at, look at the fun these, these creators are having. We talked about it earlier on, and, as some of them are meeting each other for the first time in person, playing against each other in person. Little Man's got some gifts. Uh-oh. Who's getting this? There you go, Little Man. Little Man's on the prowl. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, fake out. Fake out. Yeah, <laughs> Everyone loves free swag. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go to our other semifinal, which about, is about to get underway. Uh, as we, we're gonna work on the issues involving go the Angels and the Braves. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get ready for the Phillies and the Yankees. Representing the Phillies, Shelfie and Baseballologist. Representing the New York Yankees, JX Gaming, and Gabe Smith. I think this has a chance to be a really intriguing matchup here. Yeah, this is this is something that you know we we circled on the list. And in terms of Shelfie, can he be more than a content creator out here? Getting a chance, I believe, for the first time in this tournament, uh, Jeff. Here, you get a chance to hear the new commentary team on MLB The Show 22. Chris Singleton, Book Shambi. they are the voices of this game. Here's Aaron Judge facing Zach Wheeler. We did not yep. see Zach Wheeler in the first round. Yeah, you brought it up. You were a little surprised by the, the pitching decisions by this team, Shelfie and Baseballologist, but now we get Zach Wheeler, who has looked so good since getting to Philadelphia over the last couple of years. And Aaron Judge looks at the slider outside. He's ahead in the count, two and one. JX game. Ooh. That ball sounded good, but it's going to hang up for the center fielder. And there's two down. Yeah, pulling, trying to pull the outside pitch just to touch there. That squad of JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. 
And now Rizzo. Yeah, Anthony Rizzo stepping to the plate here in the bottom of the first with two down. Remember the Phillies with Shelfie and baseballologists taking on JX Gaming and Game Smith, batting as the New York Yankees. And you're seeing right now JX Gaming playing as the odd number batters for the Yankees. This first go around, Shelfie pitching on the other side. See, there's a two-out walk from Anthony Rizzo. So you see JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, they're playing as the Yankees, and obviously baseballologist and Shelfie playing as the Philadelphia Phillies. Ball low to Giancarlo Stanton. Virtual Giancarlo went deep in the extra innings. And then some, I'd say. Yeah, and then some in the first round. Here's a grounder to the third. Boom. Oh! oh! Air mails it over to first. The runner will head to third, or is he hung up between second and third? No, but the runner is held up between first and second, and some bad base running to end the inning. And the, they're this, trying to steal my gimmick with this, the bad base running. This is where the teamwork of co-op really comes into play. Good what point. are you trying to do with two different runners being controlled by two different individuals? You could have done a little bit of a play between first and third there, maybe tried to get yeah. the run in, try to sneak the run in with some trick play, trick playage, but you just didn't see it there, Roflo. Oh, wow. So a, a missed opportunity for JX Gaming. And his partner, Gabe Smith, as they were unable to cash in the wild throw from third. And at the very least, they should have had runners at second and third with two down. Instead, they ran themselves out of the inning. You know, three innings, you try to push the gas a little bit too much. Also, you're trying to find a way to get that extra run in, in such a short period of time. And here we go. That ball sent deep to left, but it is twisting and curling foul. Nick Castellanos facing Garrett Cole on for his second inning of work. See just how close this view is. And he sends one to first base, but right at Anthony Rizzo, and there's one down. Here's Derek Hall. So that was Shelfie. Heavy swinging rookie for the Philadelphia Phillies, and he looks at a circle change outside the zone. That also misses. Tried a couple of outside pitches. I wonder if he throws a ball inside. Yes, he does. Good pitch sequencing there. From Garrett Cole, or virtual Garrett Cole. Also tries the inside, but he misses that time. And now it's three and one. Well, they've done a really good job of this. JX Gaming and Gabe Smith pitching with Garrett Cole. That's a base hit up the middle. So a leadoff. Or a one-out hit here in the top of the second, and that'll bring up JT Rinaluto. It's Derek Hall, the rookie, is aboard here in the top of the second. First pitch swinging by Real Muto sends that one foul. We're going to get Shelfie as the odd number batters here. Yes, good to know. You would usually see the pros as the odd number batters and pitching in the first inning in yeah. these matchups. Over 22,000 people on the Twitch stream on the Sony San Diego Studio Twitch page. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much. He's Jeff. I'm Robert. Carlin is out in the crowd. I think Carlin... Interviewing players, throwing out swag. She's doing everything. I think she just took the free stuff, and, and she's just got just pocketing it. Here's a chopper to third. Oh, they thought about going to second. Instead, they get no one. So a little bit of a fielding error there poor judgment by the fielding and now the philadelphia phillies with baseball ologist and shelfie they are threatening here runners at first and second and one out in the top of the second yeah a little base hit up the middle infield single and all of a sudden the threatening is on for the phils Reese Hoskins is ahead in the count three. Excuse me, Yair Munoz draws a walk. Bases loaded, one out for Odubel Herrera. This might be time to get the bullpen up for the Yankees. 
fly ball. It's going to stay in the infield. Infield fly rule has been called, and that's a big out number two. Kids but first. they still have to deal with Kyle Schwarber here. First and second, four bases loaded, less than two outs. Could get the infield fly roll. Here's Kyle Schwarber, 0 for 1. A home run by this Phillies team in the first. Mm. Early on the circle change, it evens the count at 1 and 1. Very early on the swing timing. Chases out in the zone. It's one and two. Too late on that swing. Yeah. I mean, that's just good. That's good pitching there by Gabe and JX. Excellent pitching there by Gabe and JX to get out of that jam and to keep the game scoreless. Bases loaded, one out. They get out of it unscathed. We go now to the bottom of the second. It's Josh Donaldson getting things started as the bullpen. Now this is where the Yankees. We just. Talked about Garrett Cole getting hit a little bit hard. Get the bullpen ready to go for the Yanks. Zach Wheeler on for a second inning at work, dealing with five, six, and seven in the Yankees lineup, starting with Josh Donaldson, who swings and misses at a slider outside the zone. It's a good eye. It's a good eye there by JX Gaming. Here's the one-one from Wheeler. Got in his kitchen a little bit. Jam shot to the second baseman, and there's one one down. And you can see that being the strategy there, Shelfie in baseball. Just keep it up and in, up and in, up and in at Donaldson. And here we go, our first look at Matt Carpenter today. I like to call him Officer Carpenter. <laughs> he looks like a highway patrolman with that mustache. And he slaps that one the other way, and this could go all the way to the wall. It's going to be extra bases for Matt Carpenter as he beats the shift. Shift that, he says. It's a one-out double for Matt Carpenter. Folks, you cannot stop this man in real life, virtually, wherever it is. Matt Carpenter. Here's Glaber Torres. Fouls that one off. It's 0-1. And that one is a liner right at the shortstop. Tried to double up Carpenter, but he's back safely. But there's two down. Now, I believe this is baseballologist that is pitching here, here in this inning. And I'm wondering if we caught a freeze. Yeah, we'll see as they, as they work this up. I know, Robert, we're, we're standing up right now because the competition has continued to get heated as we're into the semifinals of this MLB All-Star Creators Cup. Hold on, folks. All right, they're about Hold to come on. back to us. Hold on. <clears throat> they, they need us to calm down. They need us to calm down and, and sit down. But this is, you know, Robert, I'm just finding it fascinating seeing these teams, the way that they're feeling each other out right now, the way they're pitching. Now, this, the is, this, is, is, a good game. Yeah, this is a good game over here, this matchup that we were just at. Uh, I, I really like the way JX and, and Gabe were attacking from a pitching perspective. I, I really like the way they were, you, the, the pitch sequencing there. We see some, some of you were asking about Cougs. Is he out yet? No, that game's still being played. A restart on the other side here in the semifinal as we gear up to crown our first ever MLB All-Star Creators Cup champion. They get a sweet trophy, Robert. They get the glory of winning here in LA Live. We are live in front of a real life IRL audience today here in the site of MLB All-Star. Hey, there we go. What's up, guys? Uh, in fact, it, each one of the, of the winners, each one of our tournament winners they they're going home with a trophy I, I mean I'm looking at it right now there's two separate trophies so they're not you know there, there's two it's not like they're gonna have to share it's not like the Stanley Cup where you have to each teammate gets it for a day and then they have to exchange it no they're they're each gonna get their own we know the teamwork is good we don't expect it to be that good yeah, that you're able to coordinate right. a schedule now we're downtown in Los Angeles right now earlier this week Carlin had an opportunity to go out to the beach and see what's going on there for MLB All-Star Week MLB All-Star Weekend. Baseball on the mind. Yoga on the beach. MLB The Show on the console. Waves crashing, birds flying. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I lost myself for a moment. Hey, good 
Good morning. What are you looking forward to this weekend? The MLB Creator Cup. Let's go! You think baseball's difficult? Look at this. Imagining we're in baseball stadium seats. We're catching the ball. How do you prepare to play for MLB The Show? Doing some yoga and definitely take a full exhale out. I love the sound of the waves. It is kind of nice. What's up, everybody? It's CC Sabathia. Jordan Lawler, Barbara Hassel, Jordan Walker, Ricky Tiedemann, Emerson Hancock, Twinma Flores, and this is the Creators Cup. My gamer tag is the legit beast. If I had a gamer tag, it would be cool to have 52. GGS space has. Ballboy4242. Samoan spam eater. Emerson H11. Chiquito, the little one. I'd say MLB The Show is the main one. That's one of the games that I've played since I've been a kid. I love playing MLB The Show. I play it a lot. It's my favorite game to play. I played MLB 21 The Show a lot last year in Diamond Dynasty. My gaming personality is a lot more different than my baseball personality. Kind of go the same way as I play here. I think I'm a little more serious in reality other than in, in the video game. Sometimes you get a little upset when you don't win. I will still get triggered sometimes, just like on the field. But it's all right. Walking, so I walk up and then step back. I'm gonna look down, hold up, start my wind up. I would pick my leg up like this. I always like toe tap. One, two. I might like tap the umpire or tap the catcher just to acknowledge them. And then as soon as I look up, I'm ready to compete and I'm ready to go. Some of the players from the recently completed Futures game at Dodger Stadium talking about their gamer tags and playing MLB the show. You know, Jeff, I, I know that. Uh, there are, like Lucas Giolito, for, for instance, he will play MLB The Show as himself against the lineup he's about to play, about to face, just to get a sense yep. of, um, and, and I don't think he's the only one. I think you're going to start to see more and more players use it like that as maybe a teaching tool a little bit. Well, I think that's where how everything is so realistic. You know, we see the power numbers, the contact numbers, the, the, the hot zones, the cold zones. You figure out where to pitch each of these batters, and that makes a lot of sense. But we saw it there from the Future Stars game. You know, obviously a younger generation play perhaps more video games than an older generation. And so you're going to see that continue to be a fixture of clubhouses around Major League Baseball. All right, let's get back into this matchup here. Yankees, Phillies, we're going to play two innings here. All right? Uh, I, but I, what inning were they in? It was, I believe, in the middle of the second. So middle of the back. second. We're going to play two innings here it, it, and pick it up no score. We, we might get a ruling here. We might get one and a half innings. There's some discussion being made right now, so we'll update you as we find out what exactly is going on with Yeah, they're game. discussing with our blue ribbon panel right now <laughs> uh, as we speak, and they are literally wearing blue ribbons. I'm, I'm watching them, and so they, that's how you know that they're official and they know what they're talking about. All right, so Kyle Schwarber leading off against Garrett Cole with no score here in this semifinal matchup. It's JX Gaming and Gabe Smith playing as the Yankees. And representing the Philadelphia Phillies, Shelfie and Baseball Oligus. And this is one of our semi-final matchups right Oh, that sounded good, but it's right into the shift. Hashtag ban the shift. <laughs> That'll bring up Alec Bohm. Let the shift play. Who had a throwing error in the first inning. I'm glad that they, more than likely, they're going to be doing away with the shift. I know some of you in the chat are hashtag purists, but it, it's time. Not like Robert here. No. All right. Garrett Cole, ahead the count 0-2, bounces that one in there. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, we saw before the restart, Gabe and JX, not afraid to throw some off speed with Garrett Cole, keep it out of the strike zone, try to make baseballologist and Shelfie chase. Shelfie and baseballologists. Top part of your screen, they're playing as the Phillies. Gabe Smith and JX Gaming, they're the Yankees. As Cole gets Bohm to swing and miss, and there's two down. Reese Hoskins sharply hit ball. Into right center field, and it's a two-out knock for Hoskins. I'm sensing Shelfie really settling into the settings of this environment outdoors here in Los Angeles. We know how good he can be in getting better wood on the ball as the day progresses. Here's D.D. Gregorius hitting in the cleanup spot, ahead in the count 2-0. Oh. D.D. playing against the Yankees. That's right, former Yankee D.D. Gregorius. It's 
sends that one back foul. It's two with two. Yeah, baseball just really waiting back on that. <laughs> right at the knees. Frozen pizza. I said that this Yankees team, JX Gaming, they against, know how to it, pitch. Man. I said they're not afraid to throw it outside the strike zone, but they surprised me with that two strike pitch on the edge. Now, Gabe and JX have done a really good job of pitching on the corners, pitching away, away, yep. away, and occasionally they'll come back inside and, and throw one on you. And we see them put Araldis Chapman up in the bullpen right now. That's the confidence that they have. Get a run, bring in the closer. Top of the order, DJ LeMahieu facing Zach Wheeler. And closer with an asterisk right now. Not really sure what that situation will entail in New York. And LeMahieu chops that one foul, and it's 0 2. Good mix there by Shelfie, keeping that low and away. LeMay, who lifts one to right field. Castellanos is there, and there's one down. And now this is the batter. They got the scoring started for Gabe Smith and JX Gaming in their first game. Aaron Judge steps to the plate. He went deep in first round game. Shelby's got some, some things to say, it sounds like. There's some discussion. I wonder what's going on here. And we've got a disconnect. All right, so a disconnect there. Got to pick it up once it all gets hammered. Once it all gets connected. Out. Yeah, once it's, <laughs> once it's all coming together. He's Jeff, I'm Robert. Carlin is here with us. Carlin, are you done with the swag or more swag to throw out? Or? I keep looking for swag. You know, yeah, me too. I, when I find it, I throw it. I heard you chirping me, though. No, I, I heard I, you. I said, I, you I, thought... said, I said, listen, let's not, I'll talk. We, we've got to get some of the swag, too. So, you know, whatever you can do, Carlin, to make it happen for all I of us. I get you some swag, maybe. <laughs> I the heard old, you say I ran The only thing I see here, it. I mean, there's, there's two Creators Cup, but you obviously can't give those. Are they oh, down here? we can here? take the trophy. They're right Whoa, there. Whoa, they are right. down here. They trusted you with the Creators Cups? I know. Crazy, right? It is kind of crazy. That Tiffany blue box, though, I mean, come that, on. That's when you know it's classic. I oh, said, yeah. We, we were walking around yesterday with that Creators Cup trophy, walking around. Uh, play ball park and people were stopping people were turning their heads people had everyone had their head on a swivel thinking what is that you got to work harder to make the mlb all-star creators cup in right. future years folks. right absolutely hey how cool is it too i heard you guys mentioning this there's not just one there's two yeah. so each partner gets to take home a cup yeah no sharing like the stanley cup no no, <laughs> no sharing like, yeah. the, like the stanley cup so that's definitely that's definitely nice uh as we are here at la live first ever in-person esports event for MLB the show pros versus pros with content creators yes, yes. 16 players eight teams going head-to-head -head. We've reached the semi-final stage yes. of the competition yeah, and you can feel the tenseness as the competition continues to mount as you get that first win There was we were out here with some of the players early before things got started We were a lot of laughing a lot of having fun. Hey, you know, I've watched your stream for the last few years This is the first time I'm seeing you in person getting to know each other Obviously some of these uh, individuals have known each other a long time But now you're really feeling it is competition It is how can we get our names on this trophy for the first year of this first ever in-person yeah. event for MLB be the show what's really cool is to see some of these creators meeting one another after knowing each other for so long this is not just you know a really cool live in-person event a first of hopefully many but it's friends getting to hang out with friends and just chat about baseball chat about life now one thing that I, I like uh, about this community is that it is a very for the most part a, a, a pause I mean you know, uh, the, the, it's, a, it's a positive and giving community. Um, I, I started streaming, you know, two, three years ago. I didn't know much about anything, technical questions, but yeah. I asked them and they were, hey, try this. What yeah. do you think? Do this. I mean, they're very giving with their advice and their friendship, and I've gotten a chance to become friends with a handful of them, so it's really, really cool. Robert, I know you're not going to be the one to do self-promotion, but what's your username? Because the people got to know, the people got to oh, follow. I, I've I, seen I don't, I don't want, I don't want to put, I don't want to put my username out there because I'll get too many ham and egg or friend requests. 
I mean, your, your Twitch name. Put, put your Twitch name. Uh, you can find me at Twitch at, at Real Row Flow, and of course you can find my streams on Facebook, facebookcom slash Flow. I mean, no offense to you guys in the chat. I just, I mean, you know how it is. <laughs> how I, is I, it? I, how is are it? Are you kidding me? We saw Robert walking around down here, getting mobbed, asking for autographs, pictures, yeah. everything. You know, he's just trying to walk down the street. Exactly. They, they, and you know what? Besides, they, they don't want to request me. It's fine. No, but could I say we're reading the chat over here, sitting here in in the Twitch stream, and the amount of positivity today, uh, the amount of people yeah. we see you out there seeing this for the first time, knowing that this could be a lot of the future of MLB, the show in the community. I mean, think about. It. Right, the pandemic when we when we stopped Major League Baseball for a time, and it was the players, it was the major you league players that? who yeah. got behind the sticks and, and yeah. really had that opportunity to engage with fans in a new and different sort it of way. It was, you know, we had that. Um, I can't remember what the official title was, but in 2020 during the shutdown, it was the Robert Flores Cup. I yeah, it, it was the players. <laughs> uh, I think it was the players' cup, and Blake Snell beat Gavin Lux in the championship. I, I think you can probably find it on YouTube somewhere. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Just seeing, uh, just seeing, you know, the, these players play this this great game. It gives people an outlet, no matter who you are, and Absolutely. it's nice to be able to relate to some of those professional players who play this game for a living. But to yeah. see them be like us, you know, they're just like us. They're gaming. They're finding an outlet. They're doing something. They're creating a community, and, and it's crazy how much this game, MLB The Show, can kind of create there. And speaking of us, we're not in the MLB All-Star Game, believe it or not, we're not? For people. Also, the people of Los Angeles, not necessarily there, but I was in Play Ball Park yesterday and had an opportunity to see how some of them can play the game in different ways this week. <laughs> Jeff Eisenman for the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. I'm at Play Ball Park, where the people of Los Angeles will try to be all-stars themselves, playing in amateur and VR form. Let's check it out. Would this be safe in your living room with a bat like this? No, I have a glass coffee table. <laughs> you think he's ever going to leave? No, he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> 22 monitors everywhere. I've heard some trash talk. I've seen some good and some bad pinpoint pitching. Let's ask some people how they're getting on with it. This guy, I'm hitting like Michael Jordan. I just swing away. I got $20 for anyone who beats me. <laughs> oh, we got coach here. How does VR make your players better? They work harder to be better at the video game. How'd he do in there? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no. Talk to me if you want to buy this, all right? I'm Jeff Eisenman, my gamer tag is Jeff Eyes. Let's go back to the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. Hey, what's up? This is Robert Flores from MLB Network. Celebrity softball game just right around the corner. Celebs taking some hacks. Let's take you inside. My gamer tag is the franchise. They used to call me that when I was a kid. I'm kind of scared to show my gamer tag because I'm going to have a lot of friends and I'm going to have to change it again. I feel like it would be like Sparkle Queen 99. My gamer tag is 91. My game persona is my real life persona. I hate to lose. If I lose, we got to play again until I win. I'm like chill, sit back, focus, and competitive. Always trying to win. I'm gonna be the show is fire. I mean, I remember when the game first came out, so I've been playing it since then. My walkout song is Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. I gotta make sure I get that good music flowing. -na 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 get them good juices going. I dig in a little bit, you know. Down, bounce, and down. I'm trying to intimidate my pitch and look at them down in the eyes. He can't see my eyes. We're gonna give a ball change swing. Step back in. Call my energy. Then give it up to God. Then hit that ball. Then I'm ready to do it. This is Anthony Ramos, a.k.a. Gamertag, the franchise, and this is Creator's Cup. Mm -hmm. 
All right, welcome back here at LA Live, downtown Los Angeles. Los Angeles, of course, site of tomorrow night's All-Star Game 2022. The Home Run Derby tonight, scheduled for a five o'clock local time start. Over on ESPN, Pete Alonso trying to uh, win a third consecutive and become a three-time, three-time, three-time Home Run Derby champion. Here we get sunshine. Yeah, the Carlin, Jeff, Robert, and you on YouTube, on Twitch. This is the first ever in-person MLB The Show eSports event. It's the MLB All-Star Creators Cup 2022. They're uh, doing some technical things and rearranging, making some set changes and the whole thing. Are they, are they putting together a couch right now? Looks like it. I mean, it, it, this event has become a DIY channel all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm, I'm into that. IRL is, is the Absolutely. next level as we get things geared up. You know, I, you, you were talking about the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game. I'll tell you, I'm so impressed by the Dodger fans yeah. being in this community, being around Los Angeles over the last couple of days. You could see how excited, and obviously the fans had to wait longer than expected to get the All-Star Game, and you could just see the Dodger blue everywhere you go down this street here in downtown Los Angeles. You see the pride that these, that these fans have in their team. I was one, as I was walking, I've been walking around here the past couple of days. I'm wondering, is Los Angeles a Dodger town or is it a Laker town? Or is it, you gonna, is it pretty much tied for that both? This close to Crypto.com Arena? I, yeah, I, I don't know if they're going to they're gonna come, at, come after you, but it, it's a fair point. Yeah. It's a fair point, especially the way that the Dodgers have played yeah. over the last few years. Well, it's, it's been a, it, it's been a you know, tough, tough couple of years for, for Yankee fans. But no and, one, no one brought that. We were talking Los Angeles. Well, I mean, baseball. most Yankee fans are Laker fans, so you know <laughs> that they're, you know, they're Se probably security. They're they're upset. It's it's been it's look it, it's been tough. If you're a Yankee fan, it, the the Lakers stink and the Cowboys stink. Go, so let's this go. is obviously just a tough, tough time for you guys. For All right, let's take a look at the bracket here. As uh, oh, the pink rocks by. <laughs> My man, Jimmy, Jimmy Hill looking fresh. Here's where we stand, Coogs and Trisha taking on Yayo and Jimmy in one semifinal. Shelfie and Baseballologist taking on JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. All right, I don't know what happened in that, what happened in this matchup here? I know we caught a freeze, but then I, I guess they're reworking and still trying to figure out where to pick it up. Resetting, resetting. We're gonna get things going in just a moment. And this was earlier. Yeah, this is earlier from our matchup between Coons and Trisha. Playing as the LA Angels, taking on Yayo and Jimmy Hill. There's a double play there to end the inning. That's a look at Jimmy and Yayo playing as the Atlanta Braves. That was in the first inning. This was in the second inning. A little bit feisty, but getting the out, getting... I, it, the, it has been, on the side the it's been interesting to see the interaction between the pro yep. and the content, cre content creator. Because as we've said, the content creators varying levels of experience with the game. But you can really see Coogs especially talking to Trisha, trying to give her some tips, helping her through whether, whether she's pitching in the field or at the plate. Yeah, that, and that's been, we wanted to see how the strategy would be adjusted from round to round. And you're feeling your, your not just your opponents out, but you're feeling your teammate out. You're figuring out, uh, you know, wh how can they be better, especially the pros? How can they make their amateurs better at this game? And yeah. I think that you're seeing, before your eyes, you're seeing some improvement in MLB The Show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Trisha was uh, on the mound in a couple of key moments there, but before stop, before the stoppage, and was able to uh, to work her way out of out of trouble here. So as you saw, we're we're waiting to com continue or resume semifinal action here at LA Live of this uh, MLB All Star Creators Cup 2022. We started with two or eight teams, yes. sixteen people, sixteen people. And uh, now we've, we've reached the semifinals. Yeah, I just want to say, JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, I've been really impressed with the way that they've played, the teamwork that they've had, yeah. and especially their pitching. I know they've had Garrett Cole on the mound a lot, but the way they've adjusted the pitching uh, has been really impressive to me. You know, pitching is what's going to win you a lot of championships out here, Robert. Also, uh, you know, the way that the Braves have been handled by Yeo and Jimmy Hill, that pitching with Charlie Morton, for the most part, has been impressive in my mind. 
and take a look at uh, Jimmy Hill. By the way, his, he is the uh, he's the brand manager yep. of the uh, of the glove company. Uh, it, it's Aria Gloves. Aria Gloves. Yep. Jazz Chisholm. Yeah, Jazz like Chisholm. That. Who? Jazz Chisholm. By the way, who loves playing MLB the show? Uh, he, he's playing all the time. In fact, I, I think I'm supposed to play Jazz Chisholm at some point. Um, but yeah, he is a big part of Aria Gloves, and yeah, they, that is just a, a sweet looking uh, glove. We had some like earlier. Uh, Aria over there, the stage. Take a look at something over there. Yes, they have the ice cream cone looking glove. There's a look at Coogs locked behind in. him, Shelfie, Coogs locked in. Of course, there's a look at the gloves there. Sweet, sweet merchandise there. Do you know what ARIA stands for? And, and it's not the hotel in Las Vegas? No, what is it? Absolutely ridiculous innovation for athletes. I like that. That's a great, that's, that's, a, a, that's nice a great little. We gotta find out if Jimmy came up with that himself. I like that. Or James, as we saw at one point. James yeah, see, referred to very proper. Yeah, I have Jimmy, but uh, the, it's James over there. He probably prefers Jimmy. So well, I, I, I would love to get a sweet left-handed first baseman's glove in the form of that ice cream cone looking thing. You know, journalistically, we're not always taught to uh, try to get gifts, but I would say that Robert and I are definitely uh, thirsting a little for a glove here, <laughs> some, some MLB The Show swag for sure. Absolutely. All right, we're just a couple of minutes away. Jeff, Robert, Carlin here as we await to resume action here, semifinals of the 2022 Creators Cup here at All-Star Weekend, in person, LA Live, downtown Los Angeles as uh, a Creators' Cup trophy on the line here. Two, two Creators' yeah, Cup Yeah, two trophies. Creators' Cup trophies here as uh, the All-Star uh, Home Run Derby is set to begin in about 90 minutes. That's what we are. Uh, down uh, watch the HRD. Yeah, that's going to be... It, I, I'll be interested to see what the shadows... How, how that affects, you know, the, the, the Home Run Derby and if that affects the hitters at all. I mean, these are guys are... Obviously, professionals, the best at what they do, prolific power hitters, but maybe the shadows play a role. I don't know. It is a West Coast home run derby. There, there is a difference here. Yeah. As we see, look at, look at that. H have you and I posed for a cool picture like that? I know we haven't. I, I did. You saw in that um, in that montage that we yeah. had, I actually got to create my own card with Tops yesterday, my own baseball card. I'll be signing, you know, after if people need that, that one of one, you know, whatever you need, I'll be signing. But, you know, it made me <laughs> feel for a second there. I tweeted it out. I said, you know, you're looking at a, at a solid 220 hitter right here. It made me feel like a professional. Absolutely. Just above the Mendoza line. All right, so when you're playing MLB The Show, uh, what, what's the mode that you prefer? Well, I, I just, I, I'm a traditionalist. You know, I like playing as the Yankees. Kind of like what we talked okay, about. Okay, so you're more of a um, franchise. Yeah, yeah, which I know there, there's people that'll chirp, uh, but, you know, that just makes me, and, and I'm an old 29, Robert. You no, know, I, I, that's what I'm, that's what I played for so long growing up trying to yeah. create a game. That's how I learned, uh, he got I learned stuff, players. That's how I learned how to make traits. There's nothing wrong you know, with that, bro. Somebody, somebody, difficult somebody video games you had to yeah. negotiate. Go. Well, I mean, look, Juan Soto's on the block now, reportedly. <laughs> Maybe you want to work a trade for him. All right, so our players are getting back in their places here. Yayo, Jimmy, they are about to resume their matchup against Coogs and Trisha. Uh, that semifinal is going to resume. It'll be the Angels against the Braves. I'm gonna have to get word on what's the what's the status of the resumption. Was it scoreless? I, I, okay, so scoreless. So we're gonna pick it up with the game scoreless. A lot happened for 0-0. Second inning, okay. First. Okay, one inning left. One inning left. No score. And we're back. Yeah, this is a straight sprint now. One inning. We do, if we go to extra innings, we will put a base runner on second. As we get a look at Mike Trout, this is the benefit of, you go back to the top of the order, if you're this Angels team. You know, all of a sudden, Coogs, Get the bat in Mike Trout's hand once again. And look at the pitching change. Spencer Strider, a.k.a. Quadzilla. <laughs> Have you that. seen his quads? I, I'm looking at him right now. Look at that I, I don't know if they're doing <laughs> his quads justice. Mike Trout couldn't care less about the quads because he drops a single into center field. And that's how we begin this inning. So this is the third inning. Third inning. Score bug. Three inning game. It's the third inning of a three inning game. Michael Stefanik facing Spencer Strider. That's in for a strike. It's one and one. Trisha and Coogs are the Angels. Jimmy uh -oh. and Yeah, yeah. Uh oh! And they caught him snapping and 
Trout is in with a stolen base. I like that strategy. Yeah, this is Kooks trying to be the, show his expertise. Force, to play some this small is Kooks forcing the issue. I'll tell you, Kooks had a long break before this restart. I wouldn't be surprised if he was thinking about this, thinking about this, oh, thinking and then about look, it. Look at this strategy here. Jimmy and Yeo will walk Taylor Ward to get to David McKinnon. And the important part was that was Kooks, and now you go back to the amateur, Trisha is a birdie. That's a great point, Jeff. That's a great point. So they're going to walk Kooks to get to Trisha. And she's down on the count, 0-2. Force at every base. Good eye. This is good eye there by Trisha. And this is where we talk about the strategy. Look at Coogs right in there. Caught her looking. Strike at the knees, and there's two down. And I think Coogs said, don't worry about that. That's not a pitch. And they're going to do it again. <laughs> Jimmy and Yeo will walk Coogs to get to Trisha in the form of Luis Renjifo. And she's late on a fastball. It's 0-1. I, I don't love the decision on their part. I see. I know why you don't yeah, love it, but I understand why they're doing it. Your one contact. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh. Uh-oh. And he'll just home. step on home. And that retires the side. So some strategy in play here in that inning for Jimmy and Yeo. And we have no score. So now this is the bottom of the third. This is your last licks with a 0-0 score for the Atlanta Braves. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. facing Shohei Otani. Yeah, interesting move. Yeo and Jimmy Hill taking that first pitch. Remember, we did not see Shohei Otani get the start. It was Noah Syndergaard as Acuna sends one to center field. Trout got turned around, took a circuitous route there. Yeah. But he's able to make the catch. Make it a little interesting. And there's one away. Here's Matt Olson. That's chop foul. Swings at a splitter. Comes up empty. He's down the count 0-2. Olson, shallow fly ball. Just a few feet past the dirt in the infield and quickly there's two away. And we've seen Austin Riley be dangerous for Jimmy and Yeo already. That cutter misses, it's, it's 1-0. and Maybe taking a pitch. That ball set to right field, going back is the right fielder, and it's over his head and bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double for Austin Riley. I, I think that's a terrible break, though, for Jimmy and Yeo to not get the potential triple there. Oh, that was a big circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're keeping themselves together, have a runner in scoring position to try to get to the final. So the winning run out there at second base in the form of Austin Riley. Austin Riley has, I guess, average speed. I'm wondering, maybe you go pinch hitter here? Pinch or pinch runner. runner, excuse me? Well, don't have time to think about it. Nope, so much for that idea. Because that's a strikeout. We're going to extra innings, folks. Here in the semifinals of the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. And we're just playing at this point, Robert. We're getting word. It is first to score. OK, first to score. Traditional extra innings. Or, or wait a minute. Or, or not ne necessarily if the away team benefits That's from the first score. Say, this is a, here's a chopper. Oh, Spencer Strider. PFP. And there's one down. So you see some activity now. See some activity in the Braves bullpen. Jansen. Looks like we're going to see Matzik. Here's Jonathan VR. We're getting word. It's traditional. Okay. Extra innings. All right. So 
the Atlanta Braves, Yayo and Jimmy will have a chance to, to match whatever happens here. Here's Jonathan VR. Whoa, whoa, did that hit him? Nope, back the way. It's one of one. We saw potentially Kenley Jansen return for the second time in this game up in the bullpen. Strider on for a second inning work. It's one and two. That misses low, evens a count at two and two. We are had a big pinch hit at bat for the Angels in their first game. And he got him. Another strikeout for Spencer Strider. His fourth. And there's two down. And, and it looks like that strategy being employed again, perhaps. They are taking the bat out of Coogs' hand. And Coogs doesn't like this. We're looking at him right now. You can see him on your screen. He does not like this. Yeah, I, I it, like, like I said, I understand it. I understand it. But I can also understand Coogs' point. And Trisha Isabirdi now has the bat in Mike Trout's hand. Perhaps the game in Mike Trout's hands. Just a little bit behind that off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss. In the dirt, throw over to first. And that retires the side. So we if, if, I'm Coog, if I'm Coogs and Trisha, I, I just switch the controller. <laughs> like, just just slyly hand the controller. Jimmy, Here's Eddie Rosario. <laughs> Jimmy and Yayo. Back in the bottom half of what is now our second extra inning. The bottom of the... Or excuse me, the first extra inning. The bottom of the fourth. If Rosario sends it out, game's over. If the Braves push across a run here, Jimmy and Yayo go on to the finals. And Rosario heading the count two and one. I believe, I believe Trisha is pitching. That's actually a pretty good pitch right there. Yeah, Splitter yeah. up in the zone. Up on Rosario, 2-2, two, two. this is a critical pitch. And here's the 2-2 two, two from Otani. Uh-oh, Rexy, this one doesn't quite have the distance. Whoa! That was a little more adventurous than Max Stassi and Jimmy and Gaya would have wanted. Here's Dansby Swanson. See Trisha settling in. You talked about the pitching. She's yeah. now had a, a few, couple games, a few innings to really hammer this down. Swans in that 80 contact. That's what we've got to watch out for. He has the potential to end it also with, with a swing if he catches it right. But he's down to the count 0-2. Tried to climb the ladder, get him to chase, didn't work. This has been a good battle this entire game. I know they had to restart, they had to adjust. A really blow for blow in a low scoring pitcher's duel. Got him. And now it is Robinson Cano with two outs. Robbie Cano recently signed by the Braves. Actually, Got the start against his former team, the New York Mets, last week. As the Mets take, took two of three from the Braves. Fouls that one back. I think it's a good spot for Cano to... I know he had a lot of weight on him with the Mets, with being in his second team in New York, and the contract, and everything yeah. that... The baggage that he was carrying, now he gets a new start in Atlanta. Slaps that one the other way, and it's a base hit for Robinson Cano. So the winning run is on base in the form of Robinson Cano. Absolutely no speed over there at first base with Cano. 
And they're going to, I would think they're going to think about a pinch runner. It's not 2006 anymore. No, uh, no. This, this is now. This is not quite Yasmani Grandal speed. <laughs> who's a, I think he's a zero in the game. Which, by the way, if I'm Yasmani Grandal, I'm calling. I'm calling the the devs and say, come on. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a speed merchant, but I mean, come on. Here's Marcelo Zuna, and we will have a pinch runner. That pinch runner only has 46 speed, but still significantly better than Cano. That's set foul. Well, you have to make the change, because if you put a ball in the gap here down the line, you're probably winning this ball game with a pinch runner. Here's the 0-2. That's set foul. Either Jimmy, I think it's Jimmy, using the PCI anchor. One of the new features in the game. Are you a PCI anchor guy? Definitely not. Yeah. That's a swing and a miss. And that ends the inning. And we play on. You can see the rules switch in this co-op mode. We're in the semifinals. Extra innings right now after a restart. By the way, shout out to Trisha there. That was a that was a well-pitched inning by her. Pretty. That was a really good, that was a well-pitched inning by her. Good job. As Michael Stefanik steps to the plate. Now we go back to the pros pitching. This is Yeo on the mound. Now that's out number one. You have one player pitching, one player fielding. I really enjoy playing the, the co-op mode because uh, it, it really, well, one, it's a, it's a new feature to the game, and two, it really tests your friendship. It really does. <laughs> and, and I believe you play three-on-three co-op mode, too, so you really got to dig in yeah. with the friendship. You have a player pitching, player playing the infield, player playing the outfield. What a great eye being shown here. Trisha trying to lock in. Late on the fastball, it's swing and a miss, and there's two down. And I think this strategy by Jimmy and Yeo, we'll see if they go to the intentional. No, I think, uh, no. Good for them. I think they're, they're going to pitch to Cougs. So good for them. This is in Grounded to short. Off balance throw by Swanson in time, and that retires the side. This has and been a battle. Yeah. Once again, another chance for for the Braves and Jimmy and Yeo to end this game here and move to the finals. And I think this is going to be a really great chance for them, Yeo and Jimmy. They've got 9-1-2 coming up. Yeah, Michael Harris, very good hitter. Batting from the left side since that one foul. And I think it's going to be Yeo first, and then you get Jimmy starting the top of the order. Harris sets. And Michael Harris will get that one past Mike Trout. Good speed. He's going to go to third. And we're being told that this was actually yeah. because of a tiebreaker. We went to most hits because this game continued on. And it's going to be that Braves team of Yayo and Jimmy Hill headed to the final. All right, there, were, there was some controversy <laughs> for a variety of reasons. It's video games, of course. Exactly. But uh, once again, because of more hits during the course of the game, Yayo and Jimmy they advance to the finals. They will get the winner of Shelfie and Baseballologist versus JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. All right, so congratulations to Yayo and Jimmy. Congratulations to Cougs and Trisha. Uh, they put up a really good, good fight there. As the other semifinal participants are getting settled in and getting ready to resume. Now, correct me if I'm 
refresh my memory. Was was their game? Was it caught in a freeze as well? The, it the was, JX and Gabe. It was indeed. So okay. they're gonna they're gonna get restarted. JX Gaming, Gabe Smith, Shelby Baseballologist, but Yayo and Jimmy Hill. They're headed to the final, and they're with Carlin Babe. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, we talked about the pink croc energy earlier in the day. Did that directly contribute to getting that dub in the semifinals? I mean, it just proves we're here to put out a championship effort, and it starts with the pink crocs in sport mode every single time. Can we get a close-up here? Look at this. I know our director in the truck is probably cutting to that shot. Look at the beauty, the grace, the pink crocs. I got to ask you, though, where are your pink crocs, Yayo? I uh, didn't get the memo, uh, so that's on me. I didn't. Uh, I missed the email. <laughs> Your teammate didn't. What? It's, it's yin and yang. Okay, so he completes me. He completes me. There we go. It balanced everything out. All right, going to you on this one. What do you need to do to pull this off in the finals, which you're both moving on to, and get the dub and take home those Tiffany's trophies? We just gotta keep pitching. We're pitching well. We just gotta make sure we get that timing hit. Um, we haven't been hitting well, especially that game. But I think we can pull this off. Both of those teams are playing great though, so we, we know that, but I think we, we have a good shot at it. Last one, what can we expect? Um, there's a hole in my bat the last game, and so what I plan on doing is I'm gonna fill that thing, and then we're gonna score some runs, so. Love to hear. That's the plan. That is the plan. All right, back to the desk. To my guys, take it away. Carlin, thank you. All right, now, we had some special conditions yes. in that semifinal. I believe those conditions are going to be in yeah. place for this matchup. Yeah, we are going right to extra innings. That's where we're going right to extra innings, where we just saw it, and then we saw the tiebreaker. If it comes down to it, the amount of hits, but we're going right to extra innings. Yeah. We're trying to get you, we're, we're almost there, to the final. One yeah. more semifinal matchup of the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. Yeah, shout out to those of you watching on YouTube and Twitch. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for hanging with us through everything. Uh, JX Gaming, and uh, his partner, Gabe Smith, playing as the New York Yankees, taking on Shelfie and baseballologist. They are playing as the Philadelphia Phillies. So as Jeff mentioned, a rematch of the 2009 World Series between the Yankees Better and times. the Phillies. Better times. That's right. All right, here's the match again. <laughs> Shelfie's uh, photo always makes me laugh. Uh, his partner, baseballologist, taking on JX Gaming and Gabriel Smith. By the way, four outstanding baseball looks from all four of these competitors. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gabe uh, is a, plays real baseball, uh, and, you know. So that, that, that checks out. And he gives us a thumbs up over there as we see JX Gaming playing with him. He's really impressed me. You know, Robert, we talked about what we see from these creators. When we see a player rise to the top in terms of skill, you talked about JX Gaming winning your tournament. He is trying to make it a double here at this event. He got off to a great start so far. Shelfie and Baseballologist kind of seem to have it coming together when we had the shutdown at the start of this game, but they're going right to extra innings. Sudden death baseball. Or at least yeah. as close as you can get to such a it, That's right. And this uh, maybe affords the opportunity to adjust your lineup here as we're taking a look at what JX Gaming and Gabe Smith Looks are like doing. Looks like they want to have DJ LeMay, who's still leading off. Carpenter. How much do you believe in Matt Carpenter? Might be a 76 overall, but how much do you believe in Matt Carpenter? I, I'd that's move him up question. a little bit. I think I would move him behind. I'd move Carpenter up behind Giancarlo Stanton if... if I just like that righty, lefty. I like alternating as much as possible. So you're a traditionalist. Yes, yes, see, there you go. And here we go, back with the restart. Here in Los Angeles, the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. We are going to determine our final finalist right now. Garrett Cole, gonna be on the mound for JX Gaming and Game Smith. Facing Kyle Schwarber, the leadoff hitter for the Philadelphia Phillies, Shelfie and Baseballologist. There's a look at Shelfie and his partner, Baseballologist, and Kyle Schwarber getting the start. We're gonna change the fielding and, the, and maybe the hitting view. Shout out to those of you that use Strike Zone 2. First pitch swinging, fouls that one off. Saw a lot of, it's almost like JX and Gabe 
are, are pitching backwards. Yep. No matter who's on the mound, but a lot of off-speed stuff early in the count. And on cue, they go fastball up high to get yep. the strikeout. Keep the opposition guessing. Here's Alec Bohm. Yeah, we'll get a quick pause here. The Phillies, this team, this Shelfie baseballologist team has been outstanding with Alec Bohm today. Also, Robert, I got to shout out everyone out here in LA Live. We are just moments away from the championship match of the MLB Creators Cup. So find a seat, buckle in, because for the first time ever in this first ever in-person MLB The Show tournament, we are going to crown a champion. All right, one down here with this. Basically, whoever next run and three defensive outs, that determines the game. By the way, some might say that the Home Run Derby is the after party for the MLB All-Star. Yeah. Cup. <laughs> yeah. And Reese Hoskins looks at a ball outside. It's 1-0. Oh. Two down here. Like Shelfie is batting with Reese Hoskins. As you know, in co-op mode, that one's sent back. Co-op mode, you alternate batters, alternate who's pitching, who's in the field. That's perfect, perfect. Whoa! What? These guys are good, Robert. I didn't think he was. I mean, DJ LeMahieu's Neo now? <laughs> what, what, what happened? <laughs> I think that was just a, a great defensive slot. Wow. Boy, that's, that was perfect, perfect. Put him on skates. There's a little blooper, but caught by the second baseman, and there's one down. All right, now watch this at bat. You have Aaron Judge coming up, potentially Jim, John Carlos Stanton to end the game. I was saying, good night. Aaron Goodbye. Judge, and get out. That's it. That's all. Shelfie and baseballologist Take come up short. Take it back home with you. As JX Gaming and Gabe Smith move on to our championship, thanks to a walk-off homer Is it you? from Aaron Judge. So the finals are now set. Those finals with the Yankees, with JX Gaming and Gabe Smith going to take on the Braves with Yayo and Jimmy Hill. And I think that we've got two formidable pairings, Robert, that you could argue have been the best two teams that we've seen today. Yeah, the finals are now set. It will be JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, who you saw just win, playing as the New York Yankees, taking on... Well, now, okay, taking on Yayo and Jimmy Hill, representing the Atlanta Braves. So a rematch of the, the 1996, 1996 and 99. 99, exactly. And World who Series. knows, maybe 2020, 20, you know, 2022. That's a great point. But in the present, these guys are playing as the Yankees right now. Gabe Smith and JX Gaming, and Carlin is with them. Thank you so much, guys. Gabe, the long ball comes through again for you guys. Walk us through the play. How did it all happen for you? I mean, we were just trying to get it done early. I don't got the pink croc swag, but I definitely got some different type of swag, so I had to call a ball game right there. There we go, a different type of swag. And for you, JX, you know, we were talking about the pink crocs. Where do you channel your energy from? How are you going to bring it to this final matchup? I also have to keep uh, hitting dingers uh, to have to so, uh, so good pitching on the corners and I'm trusting on my partner. Let's, let's get this uh, trophy at home. Let's get this trophy home, you love to hear it. Hey, the emotions, are they running high right now? Are you feeling calm? This is the final matchup of the day. It's for all the bragging rights. It's for those two Tiffany's trophies. How are you feeling? Awesome. 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 I love to see it. And a, how about you? Uh, just trying to get the dub. We're just trying to get the dub. That's it. End of day. Let's go, Gabe. All right, JX, Gabe, best of luck to the two of you. Let's see what happens in this final matchup. Guys, this one's going to be fun, isn't it? All right, Car Carlin, thank you very much. Finals are set here in this first ever 
in-person esports event for MLB The Show 2022. Yeah, we're looking at Yayo and Jimmy Hill settling in right now. Some exchanges being made on the floor. Yayo, Jimmy Hill, they're representing the Atlanta Braves and representing the Yankees are JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. What I mentioned about both these two teams, I said it before we finished the semifinal, Robert. The pitching has been the mo most impressive between these two teams. JX Gaming, Gabe Smith with a lot of Garrett Cole, they've done an outstanding job with the Yankees. Yayo, Jimmy Hill, they have done an outstanding job with the Braves. Mostly Charlie Morton on the mound yeah. for the Braves. That's what they've been dialing up. We've seen some Kenley Jansen. We've seen some are all this Chapman between these two, but here we go. Yayo, Jimmy Hill, James Hill for all intents and purposes here until he's a champion at least. Taking on JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. Once again, it's the Yankees and the Braves. The Yankees, uh, they will have JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, and Yayo and Jimmy Hill playing as the Atlanta Braves back here at LA Live, downtown Los Angeles, site of the 2022 MLB All Star Game which will be played tomorrow. The Home Run Derby gets started in an hour up at Dodger Stadium, and that's what they're playing for. The Creators' Cup. Look at that reflection. Yeah. Shimmering, shining here in the Southern California sun as we get ready for action here in the championship matchup between Yayo and Jimmy Hill, and JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. There's a look at Yayo and, or excuse me, JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. Yayo says on Twitter, says he's from both North Carolina and Puerto Rico. Crossing over yes. the ocean. Or I guess more of the, the sea. He said he's been uh, living in the uh, Charlotte area for a handful of years. Now we look at Yayo and Jimmy Hill. Jimmy Hill, the uh, brand manager for Aria Gloves. Does a lot of great content creation as well. Yep. And we've seen him walking around with some ice cream glove mitts. So flashing the leather here, and he said he had a he said he had a hole in his back. The last game was what he said, right. figuratively we'd assume. So he's calling out himself for needing to improve the batting, and that's something for JX Gaming and Gabe Smith to consider. Because remember, we saw Yayo, Jimmy, and uh, Jimmy with a couple intentional walks. Maybe JX Gaming, you know, Gabe Smith pitch around Yayo to get to Jimmy Hill. Their players are the teams are. Readying up, setting their lineups, getting ready for action. Three innings, live series. In case you're just joining us, it's not Diamond Dynasty God Squads. Here's a look at the lineup. Rizzo, Rizzo in the leadoff spot as of now, unless they make a change. No, it's gonna be Rizzo leading off, followed by Judge, Giancarlo Stanton. Acuna, Olsen, Riley, and Contreras, the top four for the Braves. I could be wrong. I think Aaron Boone actually batted Anthony Rizzo lead off the first game he played for the Yankees last year, and I was taken aback by it. You know, you're not exactly putting a speedster at the no. plate to lead things off, but you're putting up a player who, we're talking IRL for a second here, you know, is a great hitter, but also has a great eye and has that great on-base percentage and the ability to walk, which, you know, we'll see if that factors in here for MLB The Show. All right, here we go. Three innings to decide who wins the Creators' Cup. Shout out to everyone here. MLB Play Ball Park at MLB All-Star Weekend. Come on down for the championship match here in the MLB All-Star Creators' Cup. Anthony Rizzo leading off against Charlie Morton. We've seen a lot of Charlie Morton uh, in, this, in this tournament, used by Yayo and Jimmy. That's in for a strike. 96 miles per hour at the knees. Here's Morton's 0-1. Slap the other way, beat the shift, shift that. And this is an outstanding start for JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. And the, the decision to bat Anthony Rizzo first pays off immediately with the lefty bat against Morton. So early pressure here, an early moment or possibility or chance for JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. Hard hit ball right to third. Riley fires across the diamond and there's one down. The last thing JX Gaming yeah. and Gabe Smith wanted there. Especially with Aaron Judge at the plate. Here's another big bopper, Giancarlo Stanton. Hits it to deep left, playable. So after a leadoff double, Jeff, Two quick outs. It's a long out. It's a long out. 
And here's the former Brave, Josh Donaldson. And you see in the co-op mode, change now, you know, you change who controls the runner as well. Fly ball, no problem for the center fielder. And after a leadoff double from Anthony Rizzo, three quick outs and no score after a half inning. See a couple laps being exchanged. Gabe Smith and JX Gaming, I think you're feeling good about the contact that you both made in that first inning. But now you got to go throw the ball with Garrett Cole. Mm, perfect release there from Garrett Cole facing Ronald Acuna Jr. Goes way outside the zone. It's 0-2. Playing three innings. Three innings for the champ. This is our last matchup. Yayo, Jimmy Hill, Gabe Smith, and JX Gamble. Fly ball, deep center field, going back, and it's over his head. Off the top of the wall, and it's a leadoff double for Ronald Acuna Jr. And the Atlanta Braves answer with their own leadoff double. Exactly, start the exactly. And I think that's the high cal caliber play that we're looking at. Even with this great pitching, both these teams get hit. Matt Olson looks at a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. And we see both in the... We're looking at the chats right now. Twitch chat, Sony San Diego Studios. And on YouTube, MLB, I see... Fans of both teams, Robert, jumping in there, trying to express their support right now to these two teams. Olsen late on 99. It's 0-2. You can see Gabe and JX keeping it away right now, keeping it away from Matt Olsen. By the way, the uh, other competitors, competitors that were eliminated, they're still hanging out in the, uh, in the green room area. It's cut there. Ooh, ball in the dirt. Nice stop there by the catcher. It's like the spelling bee. You know when you miss a spell, when you miss a, misspell a word, they send you into like the cooling area. Here's a lazy fly ball, left field. Left fielder makes the catch, and there's one away. That's a big out. That's a big out. And I saw some of the creators here sharing some content over the last couple of days. I mean, this is a special moment to be out here. Many of them flown out to Los Angeles to experience this. It's not it's something you want to savor, Robert. It's not something you want to go to your hotel room and forget about. And for some of these individuals, they've been following each other, watching each other's content for so long, playing against each other, and now hanging out in person. Austin Riley ahead of the count 2-0 and oh, against Garrett Cole. Runner at second. Hits it to deep center field. Acuna will tag. And he'll head to third with two down. And you know, you just never know. Now you, you force Garrett Cole to maybe stay away from those breaking balls in the dirt. You don't want a wild pitch. Changes a little bit as we're looking right now. JX Gaming gave Smith some whispering, some, some strategy being played. Could they pitch around William Contreras here? That's true. Because this is, this is JX Gaming, the pro. No, way. No, no, no. No, this, this is, is Gabe Smith. This is actually, this is, this is going to be Jimmy at the this plate. This is, yeah, excuse me, this is Jimmy at the plate for the Braves. Ball in the dirt. Yeah, that's what I talked about, but a good block there by Trevino. Throw over to first, completes the out. And both teams have leadoff doubles to start their first inning, and both teams unable to cash in, and we're scoreless. Here's Matt Carpenter to the five-hole hitter. Is this another moment for Matt Carpenter, folks, with everything that he's done in real life? Can he be the hero of the MLB All-Star Creators Cup? As JX Gaming and Gabe Smith got to wait a second here. Second inning scheduled for three. Cutter misses inside. It's going to be JX Gaming controlling Carpenter. When you're making the lineup, Robert, with that alternate in the co-op mode, you p figure out the players you want to bat with. That's a good point. You can, there is strategy on getting that lineup together. I think you swing away here. And 
Jimmy coming right at JX Gaming with that pitch. Grounder into the shift. And there's one away. Here's Glaber Torres. See some of the settings being changed up. The crowd out here, you know, for a, a lot of these players, the first time that they might be experiencing playing MLB The Show in front of a live audience here that has gotten rowdy at certain points, that has gotten loud, that has gotten into it over the last three hours as we try to crown our first ever MLB All-Star Creators Cup champion. And that is a heck of a pitch from Jimmy Hill on the corner with Charlie Morton. Did he? No. Check swing for Glaber. That's Gabe Smith at the dish. All right, so Glaber Torres batting with a 2-2 count. Sends that one foul. Good contact, a little bit early on that, very early, according to the game. Glaber stays in it. Oh, what a pitch swing by miss. Jimmy. Jimmy yeah. Hill. Robert, the amateur, has been pitching an awesome game so far today. He mentioned his hitting, struggling, but he can pitch. But a good eye here by JX Gaming as Joey Gallo. Do you pitch around the pro with two outs here in the second? We certainly saw that strategy employed earlier in this tournament in another matchup. That's a strike. Here's the 2 1 for Morton. Full count. Juices are flowing. I'm feeling the adrenaline, Robert. Here's the full count. Payoff pitch. Ooh. All over that fastball, but note the swing timing early. PCI a little to the left. Perfect, perfect, right into the shift. Oh, that's a gut punch right there. Uh, and that's twice in the inning. That's both times that you can see JX Gaming showing off, uh, looking at Yeo and Jimmy. He knows what happened there twice, playing with Matt Carpenter and Joey Yello. Ground balls right into the second baseman, deep in the shift. We go to the bottom of the second three-inning game, co-op mode, our championship match for the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. Here's Eddie Rosario. And that's a good idea here. We'll, we'll see if maybe some bullpen action starts to get up for these two teams. Now there starts to be some real strategy here. 1-0 count to Rosario. Now it's 2-0. Good eye there. That's a good 2-0 pitch. You talked about it. The pitching by Yeo and, and Jimmy has been really good. Or excuse me, by Gabe and JX has been really good. He's now 3-1. Set deep to right. And it finds the seats, and it's a full count. Yeah, that was 97 miles per hour. We'll see if they go off speed here. Shallow fly ball. Left center, Judge is over and he'll make the catch and there's one down. I just love that piece of pitching that we've talked about from Gabe Smith on the mound right now. Goes fastball in and the Braves were ahead of it and then goes cutter, takes off a little bit of speed, gets the lazy fly out. Swanson early on that. That was a circle change, 88. And continuing to switch speeds here is going to be Gabe Smith. Goes with a knuckle curve for 82 miles per hour, 1-1. One, one. And Swanson sends that one foul. One and two count. Little dribbler to third. Could be tough. Swanson runs well, but not that well. That's also the benefit from fielding with Anthony Rizzo there at first. Made that high throw from Josh Donaldson look easy. Two outs now in the bottom of the second. Three inning game in this championship for the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. 
Here's Robinson Cano. Played a lot of all-star games in a Yankees jersey. So this is Yayo that is controlling Cano. Yes. Here's a, here's a fly, fly, uh, excuse me, fly ball that's going to land fair. And Cano is in with a double. Well, I got to bring back my John Sterling, right? Robbie Cano, don't you don't know. Don't you know. Good eye there, Marcelo Zuna. Boy, the Cano fly ball just started curling and twisting towards, towards the foul line. Vintage Cano. Oppo. That's a good idea. Yeah, so now this is Jimmy Hill, who's called out his own batting. Said he had a hole in his bat last game. Mm. And a big opportunity here to try to give his team the lead. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Early on the last two pitches. That was 79 from Cole. Good eye there by, by Jimmy. A couple off-speed pitches. Watch the fastball. Sharply hit ball, but right to Donaldson. Throw across to first in time, and that retires the side. Robinson Cano's two-out double does not come back to haunt JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, and we're still scoreless after two. Now, this was a decision that was made at the top of the game by Gabe Smith and JX Gaming. They bat DJ LeMayhew eighth. They batted him first in the quarterfinals, in the semifinals, eighth in the final. And he looks at a sinker that catches the outside part of the zone. It's 0-1. Charlie Morton on for his third inning of work. Got into LeMayhew's kitchen. And that's a shallow fly ball. And there's one down as Acuna squeezes it for the out. Once again, the all-star, Jose Trevino. And you see Charlie Morton right now working both sides of the plate. This is Yayo again pitching with him. Here's the 1-1. One, one. I like that he went outside and then went even further outside with the next pitch to try to get him to chase. Here's the 2-1. Chop foul, and it's 2-2. Two and two. And you can see, those of you watching, he missed his spot there. That was supposed to be outside, left it in for Trevino. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's Dottie Pippen right there. Dottie Pippen. I'm telling you, you use the pitcher that you know how to control, and these guys have known how to control Charlie Morton. There are other players that you could go with as they make the move on cue to A.J. Minter. That's going to be all for Charlie Morton, and they'll bring in A.J. Minter to face the lefty, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo doubled in his first at time at the plate. Was left stranded to end the first inning. Oh, I love that pitch sequence there. High and tight with the fastball. Away with the cutter. That one chopped right into the shift. This should end the inning, and it does. And check out Yeo and Jimmy Hill. They know. That's big. We're going to extras. We're, oh, 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 we're, we're going late, to the late, bottom oh, of the oh, third. Oh, oh. I, I, don't get, let me get ahead. Keep me honest, Robert. So now Yeo and Jimmy Hill with a chance to win it, win the tournament, and win the cup. They'll start with Michael Harris, who is late on a fastball and sends it foul. Very late on the swing timing. You can see the, how great of an eye these pros have. This is Yayo at the dish, not flinching. There's the 2-1. Garrett Cole still in there. That's a great pitch by JX Gaming. Just a touch outside, but so close. Now watch the off speed. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, perfect, perfect. But Glaber Torres can't make the play. And Michael Harris is aboard. They're going to call it an error. Ball don't lie. I mean, that's perfect, perfect. Don't worry, the New York media won't say anything about that tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, that's why Glaber's now at second base, right? <laughs> you know? And good for him, he's had an amazing season. 
That'll bring up Ronald Acuna Jr. Excellent speed at first base in the form of Harris. A ball goes into the corner. Harris could score from first to end this thing. Climb the ladder to get Acuna. Excellent job of pitching there by JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. And here's Matt Olson. Well, that would have been Jimmy Hill, who's had some trouble with the bat. So now you put it back in Yeo's hand, playing batting for the first time this game with Matt Olson. That was a good pitch to hit there. Yeah, we they might have been looking for something off speed because they've been pitching exactly. backwards. And I think that they've thrown so little fastballs with Garrett Cole that it's almost yeah. a shock every time it it's comes It's a good in. point. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Got him to chase. It's now 1-2. and two. But you know what? That fastball made them think. He, he could come back if the fastball could. Instead, it's a slider. Some in the chat are saying if they leave Cole in, it's GG's. I don't know. We'll see. Liner caught by LeMayhew. They'll try to, well, the throw back to <laughs> first, but Harris well, well back in time, and there's two down. Tried to jeter it, but Anthony Rizzo wasn't even holding the back. <laughs> so two down, and Anthony, excuse me, Austin Riley, first pitch swinging, shallow flat right field, and we're going to extras. Yep, in the first ever MLB All-Star Creators Cup final, we will get some free virtual baseball. Now, runner will start at second base. We don't call it a ghost runner because he's actually there. <laughs> so the lead runner will start the inning with, at second base. They'll bring in Kenley Jansen to face the meat of the order. Yeah, they've been really good. Two, three, and four with Aaron Judge. He's bringing a fresh arm to face the guy, one of the two guys who's really been the X Factor for Gabe Smith and JX Gaming. Oh, did he? Did he go? Oh, that's, he did, way around. Yeah. We'll try it again with that cutter. Doesn't get any easier with Stanton up next. And he walked it. So you did have a base open. You have a base now open. you will have a force at every base, but you got you got this to deal with this monster, Giancarlo Stanton. Pitch around the pro JX gaming to get to the amateur Gabe Smith. But that's a hard hit ball, and that's gonna be in for a base hit. Rounding third, headed for home is the game's first run. They will hold Judge at third, but it's an RBI single for Giancarlo Stanton. And wow, Gabe Smith out here putting in work. You saw him stand up right after contact. He's the hero at the moment. Ooh, Josh Donaldson all over that, but the swing timing early. But notice where the PCI was all over the baseball. And this might just be a pause to gather themselves on the brave side. This is the heat of battle right now. Still nobody out, Robert. Yeah, good point. No one out. Runners at the corners. Judge at third. Stanton at first. Donaldson at the plate. Drops that slider in, and it's one and two. You got three chances at two chances at a fly ball, excuse me. Uh-oh, that's not going to work. That's a big out. You know, I think. Gabe and JX got a little cute holding the runner at third. Maybe thinking they'd have a sack fly in their bag, and now yeah. all of a sudden that's a foul out. And here he comes again, Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. We all have another pitching change. Lefty on lefty. Matzik against Carpenter, unless they decide to pinch hit. I'm not sure what. You got to let him rake. Here's Carpenter. Late on a 96 mile per hour fastball up and in, it's 0 and 1. By the way, JX Gaming also, this is letting Gabe Smith go lefty lefty, kind of rewarding him as the amateur for that base knock with Giancarlo Stanton. Late and quickly, there's two down. Yeah, those were not good swings. If you are Yayo and Jimmy Hill, yes. and you give up just one run, yes. you have to consider that a win. <laughs> I mean, Considering how the inning started. Yep. Here's Glaber Torres. 
And you still get the runner on second base coming up. Remember, this is such a, that runner on third is so critical with the runner on second coming at the bottom half of the inning. But now Glaber Torres is ahead in the count, 3-0, and oh, but the lefty Joey Gallo is on deck. That's in for a strike. You have to give him the green light there. Like you said, you got lefty, lefty waiting after this. And he walked it. That'll load the bases for Joey Gallo. And, and another lefty, lefty possibility. Yeah, maybe a pinch hitter here. You look at the contact against lefties. Eesh. Nearly non-existent. Those are the options. I like Marwin Gonzalez in this situation. Look at that 78 contact. It would be, it'd be an interesting move. Aaron Hicks, if you want to just go, go reliable with this. And it will be the former Astro, I think. No. And they're going to let him they're swing, They're going to let folks. him swing. So they thought about Hicks. They thought about Gonzalez. They stay with Gallo. And he's late on a fastball. It's one and one. Full confidence with Joey Gallo. This is an indictment of how the manager feels. The pro is batting now. <laughs> Gabe Smith, the, the, create, the content creator is batting in the form of Joey Gallo. Had that big hit with John Carlos Stanton. Of four, That's extremely ago. difficult. Oh, late. That's an extremely difficult ask, I think. Yeah. For someone that maybe isn't quite familiar or isn't yeah. as versed in the game to go lefty, lefty. And, and if you're JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, you're feeling good. You have the lead. You got that run. You did your job with the runner starting on second. But now things change. The Braves, they just have to get that runner in from second to continue on this game. That ball sent past the diving second baseman. Rounding third, headed for home is the game's tying run. They're going to hold the runner at first, but we're tied at one. I don't know if that was on purpose. Wow. So here's Eddie Rosario. And again, that happened so quickly, we didn't mention it. Garrett Cole on for his fourth inning of work. There is a stamina impact here. The chat called it. The chat called it. As Eddie Rosario fouls that one back. Second time through the order, so the odds are now Jimmy Hill, the amateur. Fly ball, right field. Going back is the right fielder. He'll make the catch. Contreras will have to go back to first, and there's one away. And that's huge that Contreras didn't get to second. Maybe if, if that same fly ball is there, can tag up and get to third, but instead one out runner on first. The chat is apoplectic right now that Garrett Cole is still pitching. One says, bro, put Holmes in. I'll tell you what. Dansby Swanson. Fly ball, foul ground. And there's two down. JX, We're staring at a fifth inning, by the way. JX Gaming strikes me as the guy you play blackjack with. He's, he's burning down the table the whole night. He's, he's playing it all the way to the end. Sticking with Garrett Cole, sticking with Joey Gallo. Robinson Cano had a two-out double in his last A.B. Dribbles that one foul. It's 0-1. Here's the 0-1. Up the middle, over the head of Garrett Cole. LeMayhew, backhand throw. Luckily, Robinson Cano has a piano on his back, and he's thrown <laughs> out at first. But Yeo and Jimmy Hill get the run they needed. And this game is extended. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Again, DJ in the eighth spot. This now the first time the JX Gaming is going to control DJ LeMayhew. And maybe, you know, dealing with the speed of Joey Gallo at second base. And those are a couple of good pitches, Tyler Matzik. This is back to Yale on the hill, and he is working the corners. Outside, inside, outside, inside. There's a little flare. That's going to get down. Will they send the runner? No, they'll keep him at third. Acuna's got a pretty good arm, cut off by Olsen. Still no one out. Runners at first and third. Here's Jose Trevino. 
Folks, this is a three-inning game, but we are in extra innings in the championship of the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. Here's the 0-2 to Trevino. Got him. Big out there for Tyler Matzkit. And now he will face Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo has a double in this game. You see the win expectancy. 67% tied at one. This one is going to be foul. By the way, some baseball strategy there. You have to let that drop in foul territory if you're the left fielder. Yeah, good call. You catch that ball. You catch that it's ball. 2-1 two two one Yankees. Yeah, that runner tags at third. One down here. One and two. Matzik to Rizzo. Grounded a short. This could be two. Flip it. Fire it. You're out of the inning. <laughs> what a moment for Yeo and Jimmy Hill. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Yeo and Jimmy Hill have a chance to walk it off. An inning and a half ago, I thought Gabe Smith and JX Gaiman were going to run away with it on that big hit by John Carlos Stanton. Now, Yeo and Jimmy Hill are 180 feet away from being the first ever champions of the MLB All-Star Creators Cup. Now, you're going to have to get a pinch runner for Robinson Cano. <laughs> it is, you don't like it, the 13th speed? His, his lack of speed is well documented. And that'll bring up a Roldis Chapman. Don't worry, Gabe Smith and JX Gaming. A Roldis Chapman has never given up a big hit in a big spot. You're good. <laughs> what? This guy gets it over here. <laughs> there we go. Guillermo Heredia. Are you talking about Cleveland circa 2016? Uh, Houston 2019. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot those. Yeah. Ozuna's at the dish against him. You, you remember those Houston moments a little uh, better I than I do, Robert. <laughs> All right, so 2-0 to Ozuna. Obviously a base open. Heredia, the pinch runner at second. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. Swing timing early. PCI a little to the left. It's now 3-1. and one. You do have the lefty Michael Harris on deck. Oh! There's some good pitches well, to hit Well, think here. about the, the off-speed that Garrett Cole threw and now the gas that Araldis Chapman's bringing. Oh, good eye. That's a great A.B. there. Ozuna draws a walk. First and second, no one out. Here's Michael Harris. Now they are going to get a pinch, pinch hitter. I like this here. Adam Duvall. You bring a righty power hitter. Yeah. to face Chapman, and remember, this is now the odds, this is the second time through the lineup, so this is Jimmy Hill at the plate. And that ball is fair, down the line. That's gonna be it. Here comes the winning run, and that's it. JX Gaming and Gabe Smith come up short as Yeo and Jimmy Hill walk them off as the Atlanta Braves beat the Yankees one to nothing, that's right. Hoist it up, fellas. You are the first ever MLB All-Star Creators Cup Champions. Yeah, one for each of you. Congratulations. They went right to that trophy. Yayo and Jimmy Hill, I'll tell you what, this came down to pitching today. This came down to the teams that could execute their pitches the best. We saw a lot of Charlie Morton, Kenley Jansen out with them, with the Braves, but the bigger story of the championship with their backs against the wall, gave up the hit to John Carlos Stan, went down by one, and fought their way back to win in extra innings. Hey, let's hear it for our champions out here at LA Live. There we go. Congratulations. Carlin is with our champions. Take it away. Thank you so much, Robert. Hey, the first ever MLB The Show Creators Cup champions. How does that feel? Historical. Never had a doubt in my mind. Never. You really did it, man. And for you, Yeo, to have this guy as your partner to pull off the win, a walk-off win for that matter. How are you feeling right now? Uh, amazing. This, the whole event was amazing. The whole experience was amazing. The teammate, like we, you know, when I was struggling, he was picking me up. When he was struggling, I was picking him up. So it's a overall great experience. How
How'd you get out of the top of the fifth there? That was like nervous time. Oh, it, it was intense, but we had a great team. He was pitching his absolute butt off um, and finally fixed that hole in the bat. Told you it was going to. It took me five innings. It took a couple extras. Hey, but a great team. Thank you, everybody, for putting this on, this on too. This is amazing. It's been an incredible event with an incredible finish, a thrilling one at that. One more time, can we take a look at the pink crocs? It was the pink croc energy that got it going on, secured the win for Jimmy Hill and Yayo. Congrats to the two of you guys. What a way to finish the first ever MLB The Show Creators Cup here at LA Live. Robert? Carlin, thank you very much. Congratulations to Yayo and, and Jimmy Hill. And, and I just love the strategy at the at the end of the game. I mean, two really good teams, four really good players, even our creators who maybe aren't as experienced, obviously not as experienced as the pros, but they came through in some big spots. Well, I think you heard it. Yayo said Jimmy Hill, you know, showed up and they were feeding off each other. And Jimmy Hill said it. It took him five innings. He said he had a hole in his bat in the semifinal. He gets the winning hit down the right field line at the end. That is a gritty performance. That is exactly what we wanted in terms of the dramatics at the first ever NLB All-Star Creators Cup. Also, in terms of the pink Crocs, pink Crocs, I think the trophy's a little more expensive than those shoes. Uh, maybe, maybe. And once again, this is how it all unfolded. We started with eight teams, ended with one, 16 players in total, but only one team is left standing. Yayo and Jimmy Hill. Yayo with the backwards cap, Jimmy Hill, his partner, as they get the win over JX Gaming and Gabe Smith. JX Gaming and Gabe Smith, they I mean, they played well throughout this run. They played an outstanding game. I think that they didn't necessarily even lose because of the skill. I think there was some decision making, a little bit of conservative base running in extra innings that maybe if they went back and did things again, they wouldn't have held a couple runners up at third base. But at the end of the day, we saw two outstanding teams play in the championship. We saw eight outstanding teams give it their all today, first time in person. Congratulations to all our competitors. Thank you very much for joining us either on YouTube, on Twitch, or in person here at LA Live. For everyone behind the camera, I'm Robert Flores. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of All-Star Week here in LA.